All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on. This is Tom Nook. It's 7.35 a.m. this happy Sunday, March 21st, 2021. As I mentioned yesterday, resident services is closed today due to construction. I realize this may be a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise the island will be better for it. You'll see. As you can imagine, I'll have my paws full today with resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day, everyone. How does he even get in there? Inserts wakes wake up system of the down. <laughs> if you're really bothered by DIYs, there's so many DIY islands out there you could visit. Exactly, Alexandra. Good point. Good point. I woke up at 4.30 this morning and decided to finish my homework. One, one assignment left, and I'm ready to relax and play more games. I'm glad that you're addicted to Origami King. I want to play it again. Like, I don't want to... It's been too soon. Like, I just played it, like, in September. But I want to play it again. Like, I think Origami King might be the game I, a game I play, like, once a year. I really liked it. It's just a little too soon to play it again. All right, let's go in our house for a second here. I was playing Stardew last night and reading the Queen of Sauce, and I hear your voice in my head. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe. <laughs> I didn't want to do a female Queen of Sauce. I wanted to do a male Queen of Sauce, a sassy queen male of sauce, or male Queen of Sauce. That was my goal. <laughs> What's up, Pine Crossing? Welcome in. Well, our house is now officially just going to be this. Yep. This is where we're at. That voice, yeah, I'm a little tired, so I can't nail it. But yeah, yeah, I know exactly what voice you're talking about. That's It's a good one. I actually really enjoy it. The Queen of Sauce. Yeah, she's the... The Queen of Sauce is the person on the TV that teaches you the recipes in Stardew Valley. What's up, Asphodel Ren? How you been? Welcome in. Welcome in. Rosie Pooh, good morning. Welcome in, Rosie. Did you get enough sleep? Um, I, like, napped for a little bit yesterday, so, like... I'm not too low on sleep because of the nap, but I just woke up. Like, I slept in. Like, I literally just crawled out of bed. So, I'm, I'm like, super tired. I'll, I'll get there, though, once I start waking up. You know what would help? A little bit of that good stuff. The fishing pole? Yep, I need a new fishing pole. Right. Thank you for seeing that. I I, I saw I saw that space as well. I remember it breaking yesterday. It, it broke on... Stay Cozy's Island. We were fishing and bugging and hanging out. We had a lot of fun last night. What's up, Labtails? What's up, Tofu? Yeah, big shout outs to everyone who made it out to the Discord last night and yesterday for, for the hangout session. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of freaking fun. Um, Let's go ahead and put our tunage on for today. This song doesn't help us wake up, but I like listening to this on Sundays. When you came crashing on my island, yeah, we had a blast. So we were all hanging out in Discord, Gingy, and I couldn't help but notice that your guy, your island was open. And I'm like, what's going on? And I went, I saw you streaming. I'm like, I gotta go mess with Rosie, like, and just go crash your island with my bag face. Like, why not, right? So, because we were all just hanging out all night. We um, we hung out on my island. We hung out on Angela's Island. We hung out on Stay Cozy's Island. I think we went to someone else's and we literally just vibed all night. There was like five, six, seven of us playing AC, just running around. I went to SNES Girls Island and we were just like catching fish and bugs and diving. We found out that you could do a bunch of cool stuff. Um, Like you could do like a bunch of cool stuff with the diving and the camera. And you could like take pictures of people under the water and stuff like that. Like, it was just, like, so cool. Like, we were just, like, having a blast, dude. Um, we, we probably spent, like, seven hours just hanging out together last night, like, playing Animal Crossing. Some of us were just, like, vibing. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. I gotta try the photo thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you on this character here today. It was really cool. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun. It was, like, such a necessary night. Like, I had a lot of fun doing that. What's up, Demo? Welcome in here. Good to see you today. <laughs> Where's the realm? 
Exclamation point realm. Exclamation point realm will take you to the realm. All right, we can put this timer away. I think my storage is full, yeah. All right. What am I gonna do about this full storage? I need to, I wanna like decorate my house and then take some take some stuff outside. So I'm gonna have to move stuff outside and then decorate my, you know, we should decorate the outside a little bit. We should decorate the outside like a little bit maybe. Cause I wanna, I've been, I've been saving my stuff to decorate outside some for next week, but maybe we need to start that today. So yeah, maybe we'll start that today. All right, let's go ahead and make our fishing rod real quick. I think we need some sticks for the flimsy and then we need some iron for the regular. So let's grab some sticks, let's grab some iron. There we go. I was there for the last hour. I can confirm that we had fun. Yeah, I appreciate you popping in Luna. It meant a lot to me. Thanks for thanks for popping in. Thanks for coming to vibe. That was cool. It was good seeing you there. Boom 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 boom. Tree branches. Put that away. Boom. All right. Cool. Oh, I can take off this stupid bag. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome in, Chrissy K. What's up, Poi Star? Good to see you. Welcome in. Good cat boy, dude. You came to the right place, baby. I hope whatever's you're going through, um, ever, it gets better, dude. I hope whatever is going on. Finally, yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, the shame, the bag of shame. The bag of shame. I actually, my character looks super cute like this. All right, let's get our Mario stash. You think you're out of your gaming rut? Nice. That's that feels good. All right, we'll rock this outfit today. I was gonna put on the robe. I was gonna put on the robe, but we're gonna just rock this outfit. This outfit looks funny. <laughs> I like this outfit. It looks funny, dude. What's up, Panka? Oh, what'd you pick up? Sing vocals. Yeah, I like this. Look at this. We'll vibe to AC music here in a little bit. Cause I do want to listen to music. This is our last day to listen to music um, before we get resident services and the hourly music back. So we are gonna listen to music mostly today. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let this album rotate once and then we'll we'll switch to music. Alright, let's start off the morning just uh vibing and catching some fish. Some early morning fish catching. The shop opens in five minutes, and then we can go sell the stuff in our inventory and start our day. We're not like, I'm not like quite at the point where I want to decorate yet because I want to get resident service. You know, we're going to have to decorate to get terraforming though. So maybe we should just decorate the beaches. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe like, maybe we should decorate the beaches. Cause like, we're going to want to fit. We're going to want to fit some more villagers here to get three stars. We can just get a couple more villagers and like a little bit of decoration. So we should set up a couple little decorations out, like maybe outside my house. I'll decorate my uh, my yard or something. Ramen Sensei and the new Tadpole Treble. I haven't heard of any of those games. Are they cool? I, I love that I can still hear of games that I like, that are super foreign to me. This deep in my gaming hole. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you got me super curious. I've never heard of any of those. Boom, boom. All right, we'll drop these. I'm probably just gonna sell all of these. In real life terraforming. <laughs> Tractor, we, I saw your picture in Discord and chill, dude. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty cool. I've kind of always wanted to live in like a rural area and like work on a real farm and stuff. It seems like you're working on like a real farm and that's what it looked like in the picture. I hate when the island starts lagging. Isn't that the worst demo? Diner Dash kind of game and Tadpole Treble reminds me of Mario Paint. Huh. Cool. 
Very cool. Modern day Mario Paint. In real life, terraforming. Seemed pretty cool. Seemed pretty cool to me. I want to do IRL terraforming. I'd love to like terraform a backyard in real life. I always kind of wished I had like enough land to. I um I, I always wish I had like enough land to do more stuff like that. That'd be sweet. Oh dang it! It was just a sea bass. More like spring property maintenance, but this machine is brand new and has a proper front loader bucket on it as well as a backhoe. Yeah, that's so cool. That machine, like, it looked like it could be used on a farm. That's why I made that assumption. Just dig a river in his backyard in real life. <laughs> I wish, dude. I really do. I think it would be cool. All right, we'll have to get our money. Oh, what's up, Frobert? Hey, you want more reactions? You got it. Check this out. Use that if you ever see me get beat at arm wrestling. Because of course you'd be shocked if that happened. Okay, Frobert. I learned the shock reaction. Wah! Should I just go to the tech help? It said the version was out of date and now it's still loading resource packs. Awkward. Awkward Animal Crossing. Yeah, maybe just restart the app or something. Is he smug or jock? He's jock. He's jock. I have to figure out a new voice for Fribut. I'm, I think I might go for that one. I'm, I'm trying to go for a froggy voice. We have, we have to get a new voice. We have a, we're, we're using the cube voice for Chester. We're going to try to think of a brand new voice for Fribut. And then Cat, I'm not really doing anything with. Cat's just cool. I haven't done much with Go for Kermit. <laughs> I haven't done a Kermit. Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Kermit the Frog. That's actually really funny. That actually could work. <laughs> you can do a decent Kermit. I've heard your Kermit. I've actually heard your Kermit, Boater. I'm almost certain I have. Not too bad, yeah. I borrowed one and dug a new water line when the house went in there. So river... I mean, a foot wide one. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> Close to, closer to a creek, but we'll, we'll take it. The Muppets scare me. Do the Muppets scare you? I, I can see how they can scare you to an extent, but like, they're not like that scary, right? Like, they're not like, they're not like scary, like clown scary, right? They're like, they're like creepy, right? They're like eerie, right? Would that be a, a better way to word it, Rosie? Like, they're like, uh, like, like how, you know how, you know, ventriloquist dolls? Ventriloquist dolls are like creepy, in my opinion. Their eyes stare into your soul. Okay, that's fair. Wait, how did you get down here, dude? Fribud, what the heck? Weren't you just. Frober, weren't you just up top? What the heck, dude? He's just. He's, is he following me? Oh, uh, hey, uh, we meet again, Fribud. <laughs> I can't do it. I couldn't keep it up. I would laugh every time. Hey, uh, I heard your buddies with Michael. You're, I heard your buddies with Michael. Must be cool having a friend all the way out on Brampton. Well, uh, let me know if you want to race from here to there. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my backstroke. <laughs> okay, okay, Fribert. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I think Frobert is adorable. Yeah, me too. I, I agree with you, uh... Melamite, welcome in. You think it was a network issue? Hey, that happens sometimes. Speaking of Muppets and Jim Henson, did, did you all know that Big Bird is a different costume in different countries? I didn't know that. What the heck? It's not a big yellow bird? Frobert is a teleporting demon? <laughs> Facts. Uh, let's go say hello to Cat. Let's go say good morning to Cat. We'll see what's up with Cat here today. You don't have nostalgia attached to him? I don't really either. I didn't really watch it. I always remember the game award when, where they had the Muppet character in the Goose game. It scared me so much. <laughs> yeah, I um, I didn't really watch the Muppets as kid. 
I was more into like Cartoon Network and, and Nickelodeon cartoons. What's up, Skeebs? Good morning. What's up, Lily Tazi? Good morning. Sweet. This is really coming along. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a birdcage. This DIY stuff takes some, some major elbow grease. So I like to go all in on it. It's so worth the effort. You want to give it a whirl? Making a birdcage? I can show you. Let's do this. Thought you'd say that. All right, here's the recipe. Cool. Cats, cats crafting early. What's up, Rachel Green Z? Good morning. Cozy, by the way, good morning. Did he hit you with an official? You would have thought I, I, I could already make a birdcage. Yeah, wait. Cats making a birdcage as a cat? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Did she eat the bird? <laughs> What's the latest? If you're into titles, it's going to be tough to beat the one that Lily's got. Rare Darling. That's so cool. I wish I'd thought of it first. It's I'd seriously love it if folks called me that. Leave it to a Taurus to show us how it's done, eh? Guess it's time to up our title game. I don't know. I think my title's actually great. What do you mean? I think my title's the best. Animal Papa. Speaking of Muppets. Animal Papa. Hey, their house is upgrading. She's adding more stuff to her house. She has a lot more stuff in her house than she did the other day. So their houses progress slowly. I kind of forgot about that. Let's grab this. No, no, neither buff nor daddy, just animal and papa. <laughs> so we have little Daisy May, but we can't go to the bank to buy turnips. So I don't know if I should bother. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should if I should bother um go buying um turnips from Daisy because like. I can't go to the bank, so I can only buy like a little bit anyways. I, all my money's in the bank. And then I would have to sit here and like play games for the next few days and make sure that I got my turnips sold. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like doing it. How are you? I'm pretty good, Skeebs. How are you? Just a little tired. Good to see you. Still waking up. Speaking of, let me go ahead and uh, clear my nose here real quick. I like literally crawled out of bed and came to stream. I took a shower. Yeah, turnip exchange makes it easy. That 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 literally was sitting on my brain. And you could sell turnips at Nookazon. You could sell turnips at Nookazon, and you could sell turnips. Um. Um, at turnip exchange. So I don't know. Like, it's not too hard to get rid of them. I think I'm gonna hold off doing turnips this week though, because I have money on my other characters. So like, if I really cared enough, I could just transfer money, right? Like, that's my logic. Cause like to be 100% honest like after after this week i'm gonna care a little bit less about like only doing stuff on this new island like after this week passes like tomorrow starts like a fresh week we're gonna we're gonna start trying to beeline to terraforming and we're gonna we're gonna try to just like focus on the ter getting terraforming and we're just gonna focus on getting terraforming and getting our 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 hide our hide and seek arena set up. So I'm not gonna be afraid to just like transfer some bells over for my other character or something after this week. It's like I know this week we've been stressing like let's just see what it's like to play the game without like any kind of help or like you know just like remind ourselves what it was like last year. And like now that we're finally settled in, I think we'll, we're we're gonna just beeline. We're just gonna beeline to 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 uh getting our terraforming yo good morning sunshine welcome in dude good to see you good morning lpk good to see you as well i just remember the dream i had last night holy heck dude that's that's terrifying good cat boy dude Let's talk about a nightmare <laughs> talk about a nightmare all right so we have 
Thank you so much for having me from Trexon. Leslie hit us with the happy one year palm tree. Oh, that's actually so cute. We have to save a, a couple of these and post them on, on Twitter. Thank you, Lily from Rivendell. Cutie Pies, Genji and, and Tangy. That's actually really dope. I love the new island from Liberty. Angela. Stay Cozy from Bullfrog. Some lovely messages. Some very lovely messages. I can't draw, so I wrote a message. That's okay, Lily. <laughs> I just, I take a picture of all of the random art that people put on, any kind of random art I usually put on here. And then I'll share some on Twitter. Like I did it over here as well. Like, look at this one. It's a, uh, it's um, Dobie, Dobie saying monkas. So like any random art I'll take a picture of and just like put it on my put it on my switch so we could look at it later and laugh. There's a couple other good ones in here, I think. I think the rest of them are on my other switch though. Yeah, I think the rest are on my other switch. Oh, that's okay, Sister Bliss, no worries. Um, did you make you you were at the stream? You know, honestly, we had a lot of fun during the stream as well yesterday. Yeah, don't worry too much. I appreciate everyone who made it out, but if you couldn't make it to the Discord and chill, that's okay. Yeah, not a problem. We had a blast during the stream yesterday. It was fun. It was a good day. It was very chill. It was very laid back. It was it was mainly just mainly just focused on like checking out memories and like checking out all of your memories and just talking about why this game makes us so happy. It was good. What the heck, ketchup? That's that's crazy. I think my scariest dream, I think like one of my scariest dreams was just a falling dream where like I was Sonic the Hedgehog and I, I, I fell down a hole as Sonic the Hedgehog. And then as soon as I'd hit the ground, I'd wake up and I'd be falling out of my bunk bed. That was like one of the worst dreams I'd have as a kid. Just falling out of my bed. You know what? We can start selling these. Resident Services is open. Yeah, I was just like running around as Sonic the Hedgehog. Then I'd fall down a hole. I played a lot of Sonic as a kid. Like if you're if you're questioning anything right now, you should question how how much gaming my parents let me do as a little ch a little child. That's what you should be questioning. Because I played a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog. A lot a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog. Otherwise, I don't really have dreams, so I don't really have like, I don't really have like too many dreams or anything like that. Sonic, yo, what's up? What's up, Mads World? Boom, 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 boom. Resident Services reminded me I have some unique dialogue last night. One of my villagers were was near mine and said it was good. Isabel was in there to run things. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome, actually. Have you seen um, Big the Cat? Of course you've gotten nightmares out of Sonic. Have you seen Dr. Robotnik? Of course you've had nightmares from Sonic the Hedgehog. Have you seen those characters? One time I dreamed we were at a family dinner and my cousin turned into a big whale. <laughs> what kind of dream, dude? Dreams are so weird sometimes. Big the Cat's the worst character, don't at me. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people that agree with you. But I don't. Get out of my chat. Oh, uh, what's this? Just like a regular mobile? Sure, I guess I'll take it. I know we have to buy a certain amount of stuff from the shop for it to upgrade, so like we have to start buying stuff eventually, right? No, Mr. Streamer. Smile. <laughs> Stack of books.
that's a cute mobile you have an ocean themed one that's why i bought it because i never saw a space themed mobile in the game i was like what you could you can get a space themed mobile i love how many variations of items there are in this game it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting all right let's go back over here tickle 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 i like this album this album like sets the pace for the day in like weird ways for me i like really really enjoy this album for for that it, like sets the pace like this the day is guaranteed chill to wake up to this album boom 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 all right we're gonna take this tub out of here and then let's go ahead and take out Joshua, sounds like my mom. To everyone here today. You're all doing great, and I'm so proud of you. Pyra leg, cuddle, pyra leg, love. Hey, Shreepa with the 2000 bit drop. Get it, dude. What the heck, Shreepa? Happy freaking birthday. Yeah, the, the bot's voice. Joshua. I'm like, holy heck, dude. <laughs> Sharifa, 2000 bits. It's your birthday. Why are you giving bits? What the heck? What the heck? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. I saw you in the Discord. If anybody's in the Discord, hit up General Chat and, and wish wish our friend a happy birthday. Bam, 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 bam. And chat, you know what that means. You know what that means, Chad. Happy birthday, Sharipa. Thanks for the kind words. And we're glad we found you too, Sharipa friend. Ma, ma, ma. Me, me, ma, 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 me, ma. I hope you have a good day today. Do you have any plans for your birthday? Appreciate you coming to spend some of your birthday with us here at the Hyrule Gaming Group. You guys hear my spiels too often, so I'll spare you the details today, but... What's up, Ebony Bo? What's up, Michelle Crossing? Welcome in. I don't know if I want to take these street lamps out. <laughs> Give her the breakdown. Get the breakdown, KK. Oh, me, my, 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 me, my. I'll know this whole song by heart eventually. Watch. <laughs> my, my, my. I should do KK slider covers. Oh, that sounds so nice, Shreepa. Ow! A shoobity do. Happy freaking birthday, Shreepa, the legend. I do hope you enjoy your birthday, dude. I can only lurk as the kids are hyper. Lilo, good luck out there, soldier. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy your lurk. Little cozy bath. I want to put this stone hedge somewhere. Where do I put this stone hedge? In my backyard? Just stone hedge it up right here. Wham! Actually, the stone hedge looks really good on the sand. I didn't actually think it would look this good on the sand. It actually looks really good on the sand. 
I like it on the sand a lot. Then game chops can collaborate. <laughs> um, let's see. Are we are we selling these? Yes, we are. Mm -mm. It feels like a crime to sell DIYs, but it's like we're at the point in the Animal Crossing career that I don't have to like. Like when we started this game a year ago, saving DIYs was huge. Helping out your friends and saving DIYs was huge. But like, um, I think that at this point in the game's career, you don't have to like, you don't have to, we don't have to do that for each other, right? Like, what do you guys think? Like, I don't think you have to like sit on every DIY anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, I feel like it's literally sacrilege to like sell DIYs. Like, I feel so bad selling DIYs. But at the end of the day, I feel like we don't really need to to buy them or save them anymore. Like I save I save some I save all seasonal DIYs usually. Like because I feel like there's always someone who's gonna miss out. But I feel like to a certain extent, it doesn't matter anymore. Like with all these treasure with all these like treasure islands everywhere, you know what I mean. I don't even know if it's necessary. What's up, Deskfly? Welcome in. Good to see you today. You love putting stone stuff on the beach? Yeah, like, it looks so good with the beach under it. Love this community to the moon and back. Aw, oh, Shripa. Appreciate you. I save them when I know one of my friends is resetting. Otherwise, I sell them. You can get up to three DIYs per, per day. It's too much. Yeah, like, I just, I'm always sitting on these random DIYs. Like, I'm, like, sick. I'm, like, sick of these DIYs like i'm i'm like sick of of these diy's clogging up my inventory like that's my problem it's like it's like these diy's are like clogging my inventory nowadays like that's my big problem with them brown brown I don't want to sell these fossils. I'm just going to sell them. It's like it's like a lot of free belt. Like I might as well as be taking free money selling these fossils, but No, we'll just leave them over here. We'll just leave them over here. It's like I don't want I don't want to sell these fossils. The DIYs were enough. Do most people have whole fields of DIYs? No, but like little areas of DIYs, yeah. Yeah, like a lot, like people will have, whoa, train. Well, yeah, people will have like, will have like, like sections dedicated to just saving DIYs and stuff. But there's like, um, I guess not most people, but like a lot of people do have like a ton of fields of DIYs and they just offer people to come get them. I mean, haven't, you've seen like my island before, I'm sure, Beatles. But yeah, I don't think it's like a most people thing anymore. I think it's like, just like, there's definitely a few people out there that have like, I'm assuming it's not random items in the open. Yeah, no, it's like, it just depends. It depends. Like the treasure islands have literally everything. Did it hurt to reset your island? No, not at all, Cowplant. I have two switches though. So keep in mind, my perspective is, j is like swayed because I didn't have to, I didn't have to reset my main switch. Yeah, like, DIYs are only, like, half of the items in the game. That's the point I was trying to make. Sorry, my brain is foggy. DIYs are only, like, half of the items in the game. That, that's, like... So you gotta realize that there's still, like, a lot of furniture that you have to purchase, and you have to, like, get through other means. So, like, the DIYs specifically are only, like, half the battle. So there is like a lot of items laying out and stuff. What's up, Cher? Hi, Cher Oak. Welcome in. I hope that made sense, Beatles. I kind of want to catch this fish. 
while I'm here. Man, it's it's surreal to go back to this game and like restart it because it has only been a year, but it feels like it's been so long. I guess I really only see Streamers Islands. Yeah, and like Streamers Islands, I feel like are not the most. Most people's islands are like heavily decorated and like they don't have fields of items or DIYs or anything out. It's it's usually just like the treasure islands or it's like like maybe some streamers, maybe people who are just like storage islands because we had a storage island for a little bit. I miss that fish. I thought he was going to bite on a third bite. I, I feel like I don't have to catch fish. I'm only catching it for money. But we've gotten the museum pretty pretty well done at this point. We still need to get 60 things in the museum in order to get art. So we do still need to do fossils. You know what? We should go do fossils then. Let's go and get, let's get our handy dandy shovel out. Because fossils are probably going to be our only source until spring rolls in even more full. Because like right now, there's not as many bugs out. I feel like there's not as many bugs out right now. Yo, what's up, Dice? Welcome in, baby. How you doing, Dice fam? Freaking love the Dice fam. Hope you guys are well. Good morning. We got foes in the house. Welcome in here, foes. Good to see you. New Leaf Raid? You guys are playing New Leaf? Okay, I did pick up those two fossils. Okay, good. What's up, Raiders? How we doing? Welcome to the stream, friends. What's up, Jason? Welcome in, foes. How was the stream today? What were you guys getting into, um, foes? Besides, like, on New Leaf. It's a, I, you're actually making me miss streaming New Leaf a little bit. I, I do miss that game sometimes. I hate streaming off the 3DS, but I do miss that game specifically. What's up, Alex? Welcome in. It's hard not to reminisce on the days where we, we were only playing New Leaf. It's just hard not to reminisce on those days. It's it's fun. Good, There were good times. Today was Tortimer and, and talking to villagers. Nice. Nice. I discovered yesterday that you can cast your fishing pole from the second level water on the first level. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool, Haley? I'm not going to lie, Haley. That's one of my favorite things to do in the game. To fish from the second tier. I love it. Have you ever tried fishing off of a bridge to the bottom of a waterfall? If you ever get a chance, if you have a layout where you can fish from a bridge on a tier two to a tier one bottom of a waterfall, it's one of the coolest feelings ever. I'm just there for assistance. I have 800 hours in New Leaf. Nice, Jason. Nice. I still have my old island and stuff. About a couple hundred hours. Maybe not 800. Maybe like five. Oh, I hear um a balloon. You listened to New Leaf soundtrack yesterday because you missed it. Aw. Yeah, it's a beautiful game for sure. We have the we have the 20th anniversary of Animal Crossing coming up in April. So we're gonna be playing some New Leaf to celebrate. We're gonna be playing some New Leaf to celebrate for sure. So um be on the lookout for that. You haven't tried it? Death will do. It's pretty cool, Haley. Um, it makes me so happy that you came in here so passionate and excited about the um the discovery that you made with the fishing. Because like that's one of my favorite things to do in the game is fish from the second tier. It's super, super cool. The random island has a lot of tier two to, to one fishing on tier one. I'm gonna have to go look around my island and see. Let's go, let's go poke around right now. First, let's say good morning to Celia. Wait, wait, is that is that the is that dad dice in here so early in the morning? I always I never know. I never know. Because Emma Dice has their own account now. And Mrs. Dice has her own account now. So now I always feel like Legend of Dice is either just Dice Son or or Dad Dice. The random island. New Leaf veteran making patterns, helping other stuff like that. That's cool, Jason. You should join our Discord, and uh, people are playing New Leaf occasionally. We'd love to have you, if you want to. Exclamation point Discord. And good morning, Aceling Moore. NWO, good morning. Only two days until uh, Story of Seasons. Is anybody excited about Story of Seasons? Friend, our uh, Pioneers of Olivetown. 
two days two days i think it comes out in two days in america and then the 26th in europe i think you guys get it three days later i'm, I'm, I'm gonna play that game I'm, I'm super excited about it morning joshua uh you're over early what oh wait we were giving him the cube voice help i can't pick out which is cuter you or your cinnamon roll jacket don't ever make that face again dude what are you a demon oh my gosh wait i know i'll use math okay so i just need to multiply your cuteness by your cinnamon roll jacket that equals um hey how do you multiply someone by their clothes Um, I'm too tired for this. I just need to leave. What's up, Magical Mage? How are you? How are you today, Magical Mage? I, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't handle this this morning. <laughs> I love his house. His house is cute, yeah. I don't know how to start swinging for my Switch. Yeah, you gotta get a capture card. Um, Minhiata. So you wanna start off by getting a capture card of some sort? And then after you get a capture card, it's all pretty straightforward. If you are really hurting and you need some kind of information or help, um, just like send me a message and let me know and I can try to help you or join my discord and enter my tech talk and help channel and we can help you there. We have a whole channel dedicated to helping people out. Um, yeah, I can help you set up your Elgato in the discord. If you want to join our discord, I can help you out sometime. Yeah, just join in and, and add me in the Tech Talk channel and say, hey, um, I'm from stream and I could we could sit down and I could I could even like screen share and show you. I can like screen share and show you my setup and how to like, like try to help you set it up if you want. Yesterday was Pog. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. Mm -mm. All right, we'll do our money rock. Oh, we were going to go see if we could fish from the second tier somewhere. Let's go do that real quick. We got distracted. Let's go see if we could fish from the second tier. For those that are just rolling in, um, our resident services is upgrading today. Ta-da! What's up, sweets? Watching the stream and cleaning. Appreciate you. Hope your cleaning's going well. So we um, just get to vibe today. Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. So here's the real question. What if I had a tier three waterfall layout with a bridge or something? Could I fish all the way down to the tier one? Has anybody ever tried that? What's up, Attila? Can we can we can we fish down to the tier one from the tier three? That's the that that's the question. Oh yeah, somebody wanted to see the camera thing we were doing. Uh, Rosie poop. Uh, at the shore. You're testing right now? Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if you could fish to the tier three from a tier to a tier one. That'd be super cool, right? Have you gotten the golden trout yet? No, I have not. Is this tier three right here? Can we fish? It's not letting me fish from here. Oh, look at this. I can't see what's happening. Am I, is this, am I fishing down to the tier three? Yeah, that's the tier, I think, I think that's tier one. Can I get a heck yeah? Heck yeah. Hell yes. How you doing, Panbear? Look at that. I think it's working. I swear it's working. 
All right, let me go show Rosie Poo what's up with this diving real quick. All right, so this is what we are doing, Rosie. Now, it's a lot better with two people because I can't really show you because I'll be in camera mode. But so you have to use your imagination a little bit. But watch this. So if you go into camera mode here, you could actually you can actually, you're actually looking under the water here. Right? So what made us first realize this was we pulled out the phone and we noticed that the phone was like under the water and we were like oh weird and you can like see like structures around here like you can actually see the terrain under the water and if somebody dives if somebody dives while we're doing this you can actually they can actually go up to the front of the camera underwater and like we took pictures like underwater diving it's on my other switch so i can't show you but like you can actually take pictures of people like underwater diving and they can like go up to the camera you can kind of get a better feel for it when i'm in the distance like look if, you can kind of get a better feel for it when i'm like far out into the distance right Yeah, and you can take like underwater pictures. I got a sick picture last night of somebody diving out of the water. Like as they jumped out of the water from diving, there was all this water around them. It was like this majestic picture. Like, oh, here's what I'll do. I'll share it to Twitter real quick from my other switch and I'll show you guys. Hold on, give me just a sec. Yeah, like, it was actually pretty cool. Post, post this one. Here, actually, let me post a batch real quick. Let me, let me post a batch and I'll post, I'll, I'll show you the two pictures. I'll show you three pictures we took last night of this. All right, they're posting on Twitter right now. Okay, posted. All right, turn off the switch. All right, that was a genius move on my part. Bravo, Hylian. Bravo. This game warms my heart so much. Me too. Me too. All right, here we go. Um, here you guys go. So here was the picture I took of the person coming out of the water. So like, look at this. Just show the switch screen to the camera. There's no way it would do justice, Panberry. That's so ghetto. Sorry. I, <laughs> there's no way, dude. Do you want to see what my switch screen looks like on my camera? Look at it. I'll show you right now what it looks like. And I can't see this. Look at this. Uh, is, it, is this what you want? A green screen? Is this? Hold on, let me show you the picture. Is this what you want, Sleepy Panberry? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Oh look how look how good that picture looks. Oh yeah. Oh oh. I'm so glad we can see this picture. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Panda. <laughs> Here's another one. This is what I was talking about with them coming up to the camera. Look at that. What's up, Pijector? What's up, Pine Aura? Welcome in. Look at that. Like, 
Stay Cozy actually went up to the camera. Like, so here's the one with them coming out of the water. Here's Cozy actually went straight up to the camera. And they're just like looking at the camera like, hey there. And then here's another one of all of us vibing. Look here. <laughs> I, I'm going to get it for that one. I'm going to get it for that one. I already know I'm about to get it. I already know I'm about to get it. For pay. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're about to have the Sprocket versus Ribot battle of a lifetime. Oh, no. All right. Thanks for the follow, Min Hiata, by the way. I think this one's one of my favorites as well. Yeah, swim with the bag on your head. <laughs> yep, that's right. I hope you guys like my pictures, though. Yo, what's up? What's up, Budweiser? How you doing, baby? Lily Ta Literally, Tazi, I hope you're doing well today. Natalie, good morning. The swim of shame. <laughs> Wait, this was in the ocean? It almost looked like you guys were in the aquarium. Yeah, isn't that cool? Emmy Rose, that was all ocean. It's too early for sass. I know, I know. That From my end as well, sorry. We can be sass free together. What's up, Rustic Geek? Good morning. I misheard. <laughs> What's up, Wicked Raven? Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Just chilling. Figured out how to remove a current player from my island. Nice. Nice. Get our money rock going. We could probably leave our orange trees today. They don't wield enough money to, like, really care about taking them. Like, early days, I like farming my regular, my native fruit trees, but... Not today. Mm -mm. Brown, brown. Looks like I have a hybrid, do I? Did I have a hybrid up there? Um, swap it for this random stick or stone. We'll come back for it. Your island is progressing nicely. Thank you. We're getting there for sure. Yes, yes. I'll have to go up there and check in a minute. We'll be back. Let me go sell. It was an orange pansy. Let me go sell up real quick. Good morning, Mama Bear Marie. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Welcome in. Welcome to day number six of our new island journey. We're getting down on island six of our new island, day six of our new island journey. And we are just focusing on progressing our island a little bit today. We're going to be earning bells to pay off our house tomorrow. But with resident services upgrading today, we don't have much we could do in that front. So today's mostly going to be getting in further along or like introducing ourselves with the villagers some more. And then we're going to try to get as enough money saved up to pay off our house tomorrow, which we're pretty close already, actually. Maybe like 60,000 more. And then we're going to do a little bit of decorating, some interior decorating, maybe. And that's about it. So like we don't have a ton planned for today in game. I forgot how cute the first shop looks. Yeah, I enjoy it. Island six of our new day journey. Looking for friends. My island is open. Nice time waffle. Nice post away. Boom, boom. This is the part of this uh, shop that I miss. I miss that you could just sit right here and pretend like you own the shop. I used to actually show up at people's islands and do this. 
like early game i used to just i used to just like show up in people's shops and i'd sit here and just i'd, I'd yell at them for stealing oh get back get back here thief <laughs> brown, brown. all right let's go find um the rest of our money rocks i thought you meant pushing tommy <laughs> just pushing tommy around contest who can break the button first i gotta go look at this and see if the button's close to being broken i don't know i don't i don't know i made i made it a pretty big threshold well we'll find out for sure Brown, brown. Mm -mm. The button. We have a button. We have a button. We have a pretty old button. I restarted my second island yesterday. Why is starting over so therapeutic? I love it. Yeah, I've never done it before. I never restarted this game yet acing more and i'm realizing it's so very so very therapeutic oh my gosh here comes the button presses here it comes let's go get that printed shovel from the house going up <laughs> We're all working together to break the button. When the button summons e easy route, easy route and draws. <laughs> no, not easy route and draws. That's actually so perfect. <laughs> we. I love you, Chad. This Chad is best, Chad. Looks like you got new reds too. I saw that. Yeah. So we let's grab our printed shovel. Do we have? Do we have a watering can on us? check we do have a watering can on us so we can water some of these flowers we did reset triptych we reset our community island double booty rug is perfect a can't stop won't stop uh -uh. which is your favorite button that old button it's always been my favorite always will i got i got memories tied to it that old button how are you buka Man, this watering can stinks on ice. One spot. I ain't got time for that. Sleepy but good. Me too. You got a letter from KK Slider. Gave me the song I requested. Cute. Something about the sound of a watering can in this game makes me happy. I'm the only one? Yeah, figured. Just the sound of the watering can makes me very happy. Brown, brown. Maybe the music's quiet today because of the wind? Does the wind make the music more quiet in, in our games? I feel like the music is quieter than normal today, and I feel like I'm freaking out. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like my game is way quieter than it was yesterday. Oh, well, that could be the solution right there. That certainly wasn't helping. I like it. It's cute. I love the sound of the golden one. It's pretty nice. So I get you. Yeah. Yeah, the sound of the golden watering can. Nah, you're just going crazy. Today I'll be able to set up my island. I'm excited. Playing on a Switch Lite for almost a year. Really? That's cool. That's cool that the Switch Lite is held up. Like, what's your experience with the Switch Lite? Are you, like, are you happy with your purchase a year in? Because, like, I think the Switch Lite was a good idea. And I'd consider getting one in the, in the future. Yeah, I certainly fixed my mu my sound issue. I figured it out. For some reason, my audio settings got reset last night. I think my computer reset last night. Freaking computer. Freaking Windows updates. 
Beatles, I blame you. Beatles, why didn't you stop my computer from updating itself last night? What the heck, Beatles? What the heck, dude? Today I'll be set up. I'll be able to set up my um, second island. I'm excited. I've been playing on a Switch Lite for almost a year. Oh, yeah, I read that already. I was just waiting to see if you replied. Um, Like, it took forever to breed blue roses in New Leaf. Yeah, it took just as long in New Leaf as it does in this game. I think it's a little worse in this game, right? I think it's a little worse to get blue roses in this game. Because I was eating Oreos. Oreos. Ugh. I love my Switch Lite. I can work on my island everywhere I go. I think that's really cool. I might have to get a light in the future, right? Personally, I love my light switch. Great battery life. Um, definitely a cheaper option for college kids. Yeah, Morgan, I could see that. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna maybe get a switch light in the future. I don't really need to though. Like, so for me, I don't leave the house enough. But I did want to get a switch light. I think I'm just gonna turn one of my switches into a portable switch at some point. But like right now, my second switch is gonna is like, besides for stream. I use my second switch in the living room, so hopefully, like, Beatles and I, or Beatles can play on it, or we can game together. Thanks for the host, Big Doggo, and welcome in. Thanks for the host, Silbert, and welcome in. E-Talker, thanks for the host. Good morning, E-Talker. Danny Ocean as well. Thank you very much, fam. My computer didn't update right in the middle of playing Minecraft. Oh, no! Worst, dude. Did you call... Why... Why? Yeah, Beatles. Why didn't you call Microsoft? <laughs> get him, Ans. Get him. Beatles thinks he's going to get away with this. What's up, Black Pearl? Good morning. You can breed blue roses with blue roses, I believe. I don't know if it's true, but I have not. I have done it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, Isabel. Once you have a blue rose, you could literally just water it and get more blue roses. So, and it was harder in New Leaf, you think, Izzy? I'll take your word for it. You don't get the rumble feeling when you catch fish on the Switch Lite. Ah, but almost everything else is the same. Susie, welcome in here, by the way. You have a light and a normal. I honestly play more on the light. That's so crazy to think about. Because, like, I, I grew up as a game... I grew up as, like, a Game Boy gamer. Can I ask, who here considered themselves a handheld gamer more so than a console gamer as a kid? Can I get a one in the chat for that? Um, who here consider themselves a handheld gamer as a, growing up more so than like a console gamer? Because that was me. I had a Game Boy in my hand every day, everywhere I went. And this was a little bit before like phones were a thing. I'm kind of old. I'm an old guy. So like you have to realize like even more so like I didn't even I didn't have like mo I didn't have like smartphones really, but I had like my Game Boys. I had a Game Boy in my pocket everywhere I went as a kid. Game Boy, then Game Boy Advance, then SP, then DS, then 3D. Like, I had a Game Boy in my pocket all the way up. All the way up. So, for me, it's like, it's like, it goes together like lamb and tuna fish. Me and Game Boys go together like lamb and tuna fish. You know? You know, Chet? What's up, Chell Dog? Welcome in. Yeah, the original Brick Game Boy, nice. One, because my bro hogged the console. <laughs> You're way more in a PS as a kid. What's up, Wano? How you doing today, Squish? You were more a PC council, but I didn't get my first handheld until I was almost 20. Wow. Different world. Never owned a handheld gaming device? Wow. Really? That's crazy. Which color light do you think you'd get teal? I'm in love with the color teal. Teal and aqua green and sea green and light blue. Some of my favorite colors in existence. I really love those colors. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk. Let's talk. Seems fitting to set up a log garden lounge. The style matches the setting. You have the teal switch light, yeah. Gonna head out. We'll see you later, Kazman. Yo, thank you so much. Go enjoy your food and thank you again for the for the raid and for the chat about Elgato. We'll have to chat again soon, Kazman. I've been wearing my headphones a lot and my my ears hurt. 
I need to take a, I need to take a break from headphones today. Started with original DS, but for some reason my brother's DS broke, so I gave mine to him, which was dumb logic. <laughs> the things we do as kids. You want to get the coral, but I want the ACNA switch too. Yeah, the, the ACNA switch is cute. I'm gonna get you new headphones. These headphones are actually new. It's it's actually not the headphones this time. I literally have been wearing them too much. Yeah, these are actually really, really new headphones I just bought myself. And they're really nice and padded. The problem is, is that I wore these for like the past, like, yesterday I streamed Panberry at like 7 a.m. And then we went into the Discord after from noon until 7 p.m. So I wore these headphones for 12 hours yesterday straight. Then, after that, I proceeded to go and play video games until like 11 that also had my headphones on. So I sincerely wore my headphones for like 16 hours yesterday and like putting them back on today is just like too much. The headphones themselves are really nice though. Like they're, they're brand new. I just, I think I like overdid it yesterday. I think my head is literally just like chill, dude. But they're pretty comfortable. I can wear them for long extended periods usually. I have another pair of headphones, but they, they can't, they cancel the sound too much. And too much ca canceled sound is like I don't like that when I'm trying to talk on stream you love weed peeking simulator you mean animal crossing <laughs> it's better in this game at least the weeds look good look at Panberry just I'm gonna get you a new pair of headphones Panberry you better stop taking care of me <laughs> I couldn't believe I saw you still live after that long in the discord I was like holy shit he's wild yeah we were, we were vibing we were having a good time sunshine it was a lot of fun if I can afford not to wear my headphones, I do. That's what I need to start doing, Pat. You know what I'm thinking about doing is getting a pair of um, corded earbuds. Like, Beatles, if you're, like, around and awake, you should help me find a pair of, of earbuds that have a cord. I don't want wireless. I just, I don't, they don't have good battery life unless they're really expensive. But, like, if I could get a pair of earbuds that have a, a, a lengthy cord, I'm going to start wearing earbuds on stream a little bit more. So I don't have to like always wear these big gaudy headphones. Like I don't, I like headphones like this. Like some days I just need a break, you know? It's just like having this stuff on my head every day, just like, ugh. Like I literally get sick of it. So I think I need a pair of earbuds. Mm -mm -mm. Extender with old school Sony's. Like, yeah, if you think that's the choice, I could send you the same type I got. I mean, if you, could you send us a link, Panberry, so I can like take a look at what you got first? Cause like, yeah, I just I, I'm okay with getting something super cheap, just like something to hear the game from when I don't want to wear these big headphones. Cause like sometimes I really do not want to wear these headphones, but like I just kind of have to. And I bought a pair of um, wireless earbuds, but. They're really big. Like, let me show you these. Let me show you these real quick. So I bought a pair of, of wireless earbuds and they're gigantic. Like, so like I put these things in my ears and they like hurt my ears, dude. Like, look at this. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get myself a pair of earbuds and I go to put these things in and like, look at them. They're huge, like, so like by the time I wear them for like an hour and they're literally like weighing in my ears, like they're, it, they're, they're huge. It only costs like 50 bucks and they work like, okay, but they're definitely no, they're not, ear, they're not AirPods. I'll tell you that much. They're not AirPods. They're, they're huge. And they just like hurt my ears after a while. So I'm like. I just have to get a pair of basic earbuds that I can just like plop in my ear that have a cord. As long as the cord's long enough for me to do my normal gorilla stuff, I'm okay. You know what I mean? Cause I just gotta be able to move around. So I haven't bought a pair cause it seems like a lot of earbuds have short cords and it's like, I don't want to deal with the short cord, you know? All 
All right, let's go back. Somebody has a weed farm on their island. I've seen that before, Sherhook. Yo, thanks for the follow, uh, Pick Self and uh, Pen Girl. Welcome in, welcome in. Well, I, I've seen a, 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 my own version of it. Maybe not the same one. H how you doing today, Evan? You like headphones, earbuds are uncomfortable to me. Those are huge. Yeah, I prefer headphones in my everyday life. I'm right there with you, Evan. I do prefer headphones in my everyday life versus earbuds. But for streaming, I think sometimes it'd be nice to have a pair of, of earbuds. Just like sometimes, like some days, right? Do you think that older AC will come on Switch? No. I want it to, but no. What's up, Dynamo? I really, 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 really want older... ACs on Switch, but to be 100% honest, Nintendo has made it really clear they have no intentions of doing that kind of stuff. It kind of sucks. Like, Nintendo is just, like, so against putting their old stuff on Switch for some reason. Like, they do a little bit of it, but they limit it. They just, they limit it so much. Like, why? I, I, I want to have old Animal Crossing on the Switch so bad. And it's just like, like, imagine New Leaf on the Switch. Like, imagine New Leaf on the Switch. Think about how fun it would be to play New Leaf on the Switch, dude. City Folk. GameCube. Like, those games would be really fun to play on your Switch mobile. Just, like, vibing, dude. Bigger screen. Like, oh my gosh, dude. I don't know. Nintendo's just weird sometimes. Yeah, imagine Wild World. Like, Virtual console, like, I don't know. We could talk about this forever, you know? <laughs> What's up, Miss Linny? Heavy, lazy Sunday. How you doing, Miss Linny? Welcome in. The Sugar Skull Push ones are smaller and they're comfy to you. You want Tama Tomodachi? A lot of people want the Tomodachi games. You like those games? A lot of people want those on the Switch, I've noticed. Ooh, 10,000 bells. Don't mind if I do do. Um, let's go to the museum. That reminded you of the in-game time capsule. I miss those. Those are cool. Your ears are lifting weights. <laughs> Renal. I think Nintendo's reasoning is older ACs will end up competing with New Horizons. Yep. Bingo. I think you might have put the nail in the coffin there. Exactly. Exactly. If they put the old Animal Crossings on the Switch, then you're going to not buy New Horizons as much. And that doesn't look good to their to their board of people and that doesn't look good for their investors and that doesn't look good for their business numbers you know they want to be selling lots of one game not all, a bunch of uh, all their games stuff like that like i don't know the details i am not a businessman i just assume like that's part of it the nail in the coffin that's the first time you heard that you know what i actually got that from a super old game called um N nba jam so at nba jam there was all these old sayings pan rosie poo right and and different things would have so like as the game progressed you'd hear your character like they would say he's on fire if you got like multiple shots in a row or they, they'd be like he's heating up and then they go like from downtown when you shot a ball from really far away this was a basketball game and then when you when you like sealed the deal of the game like when you hit that like buzzer beater like that that buzzer beater you know basketball shot at the end of the game and it, it was clear that you were going to win, the commentator would say, and he put the nail in the coffin as you were like slam dunking. That's actually where I stole that from. <laughs> I know you didn't ask for that, but you got it. <laughs> At the buzzer. From downtown. Oh man, the commentary on these old games. I love the old, I love those old commentaries. For three! <laughs> Makes me think of the pay Yes! Yes, dude! The Pokemon Stadium announcer! You want my favorite thing ever. And there goes the battle. I love that, dude. Pokemon Stadium was so good. And there goes the battle. There was another one, too. Oh, ride that surf! Yeah! Rosie! Ride that surf! Yes! Dude. Now, can we get Pokemon Stadium on the Wii U? Can we can we can we get Pokemon Stadium on the Wii U? <laughs> Cause I wanna play it now really bad, dude. Now I wanna play it really bad. 
Ride that serve. <laughs> I live for Pokemon Stadium announcer. Can we get Stadium Online Battles? Dude, that's a dream. That's a dream. I wish. His voice will be in my head all day. <laughs> What's up, young Zach? Welcome in. Tindra. Good to see you. Good morning. Happy time zone. Oh, dear, pardon me. Ride that surf. <laughs> Good morning, chat, and welcome to the Hyrule Museum. Why, Joshua, I've been meaning to tell you the good news, hoodie hoo Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Hyrule, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Oh, wait, we got our 60 specimens. What's up, Vanessa the Kitty? Welcome in. Thus, I am considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. Does that mean that Red's on my island today? Walking around and I haven't seen him yet? Or maybe tomorrow he'll show up? Who? Who? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? How may I be of service? Now, I already have a piece of art, so I can show it to him anyways. But I was just curious when we'd see Red. Wait, I have to assess these fossils. Good morning, Fran Marie. Welcome in. Yeah, we have to assess first. Assess, please. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I am all a flutter. Um, we have a couple fossils here. I'm actually a Brit can confirm that this is a very good accent. Aw, young Zach, thank you. We've been working on our Blathers accent for a while. I lose it every once in a while, but m most of the time we've been working on the Blathers accent for a while. This is why people want me to cosplay Blathers. There's like a big push in the community for me to cosplay Blathers. You you are all going to get a choice to... Cho like, everyone's going to get to choose my cosplay that I do here in the future. We're going to open up a channel here starting in April that's going to say... um like everyone's gonna have to put their recommendations for cosplays in the channel and then we'll run a couple polls and we'll vote and whatever one gets voted i'll be doing officially i did get your dm yes rosie poo actually i was actually really happy to get it uh, i missed a couple dang it you look so nice as blathers we could pull it off he'd have to have a he'd have to have a beard though no matter what we do he'd have to have a beard that's the only problem because i'm not getting rid of my beard for anything now we could tie the beard up and stuff my beard's long enough to like tie it up so like if we do a certain like certain cosplays could work with just like having my beard tied back like i could push my whole beard like to up to my to my neck and chin and like just kind of mat it down and it'll like kind of be hidden it'll just look like i have a, an awkward chin <laughs> so like we could we could work with it we could make it happen i'm voting for bikini zelda <laughs> uh hello evil evil sith lord i don't know if i have enough cake to to cosplay that properly if you know what i'm saying bearded blathers now that's majestic af <laughs> hylian best cake on twitch <laughs> braid it braid it morg so <laughs> Um. Who could it be? It is. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved diplo tail tip. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, don't you know? Yes, please. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now where to begin? Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? That's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, the Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. What would that we were all so, would that we were all so gifted? Dang it, sometimes Blathers just gets me with this weird wording. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> would that we were all so gifted? 
And that is what I had to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. I have Isabel looking out the window wishing she could go outside. I feel time is trapped her for life. I won't lie to you. I I, I kind of agree. Beard looking sharp. Thank you, Pandy. Thank you so much. Beard, I, I woke up in the beard. At the, I got out of the shower. Beard was looking pretty good today. I was actually really, I didn't have to do much work, which is like a good day. Because like my beard has a problem where like. Like this. Is elocution. Yo, evil Sith Lord with a three month Gotta resub. Keep supporting my fellow Ohio Ian. You know it, baby. You know it, baby. Thank you so much, Sith Lord. I appreciate you. I respect you. You know I don't expect that good love. Thank you so much for the support. Hopefully we can get an Ohio con going one day and we can meet up and get some food. Let's continue assess we already assessed. Does it come in yellow? I don't know. <laughs> the bee thing? The bee thing was way too much. Inflatable bee beard. The internet has won today. The internet won. The internet was uh, was victory. Perfect little flower. <laughs> a mega zero skull. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved mega zero skull. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff. I assure you now where to begin. Who? I've been hoping someone would bring me a Mega Serops. This large fellow w was a bit like our modern rhinoceros, but with two horns on its nose. Sadly, their teeth restrict their small teeth restricted them to a diet of rather soft plants, and eventually they died out. I fear there is a valuable lesson to be had here about learning to enjoy a variety of foods. And that is what I have to say about that. I actually do make a point to try to eat different every week. I think it's very important to mix your diet up. You know, if you're eating spinach and 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 like fruit, like maybe some spinach and apples and oranges and and like maybe pasta dinners one week, maybe the next week try to do greens. Maybe try to do some greens or some kale. You know, maybe try to do some potatoes, maybe try to do a, a less sweet fruit. I think it's like really important to mix up your diet because like all these foods give you so many different types of vitamins and minerals and like healthy stuffs that like there's a good reason to kind of mix it up always. Like, you don't, I, don't, I just feel like you, you don't benefit as much from just eating one type of superfood or one one type of vegetable or one type of fruit. I feel like you really do want to make a point to mix it up in your everyday life. If you ate beans this week, you know, skip the beans next week. Eat something different. Mix it up. I feel like you live a healthier lifestyle by doing that. It's not about like your preference. I think I'm I'm mostly touching, talking about like your body's vitamins and stuff and like your body. I feel like you're just a lot healthier if you eat that way. One of my favorite is where it gets trapped in the basement with his girlfriend and finds out how her hail and hair, nails, and lashes are all fake. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember that more so. So eat different flavors of ice cream is what I'm hearing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. What's your favorite food? All right. Um... All right, this is hard. So I have, I'm, a, I, I love food. <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite like category of food is bread. I just want to make it clear that I'm a bread fiend. I'm a bread fiend. I just eat. I just, I'm a bread fiend. All right, but, 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 my favorite food is definitely lasagna. That's right, Panberry. <laughs> lasagna is the jam. By far, my favorite food to eat is lasagna. That that's the that's the stuff. That's the stuff. <laughs> Beatles. That's by far. Oh my gosh, dude! I just caught your reference, dude. You funny. You're so funny, dude. What kind of lasagna? All kinds. I've had vegetable lasagnas that are that are chef's kiss. Um, I actually almost prefer a veggie lasagna nowadays because I don't eat a lot of meat anymore. So I've had veggie lasagnas that are top notch that I love, but a traditional Italian lasagna, you know, using uh, beef and stuff like is I'm down for that. I, I love that. 
ricotta cheese. Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. Mwah. Oh, get a little bit of the ricotta and add it into the mix. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm, dude. Now I just want ricotta cheese. Now I just want cannolis as well. I used to hate lasagna. Now it's amazing. So let me ask you, Chad. Let me ask you a question, Chad. If you take two separate pieces of lasagna from two separate pans and put them on top of each other if you take two separate pieces of lasagna and put them on top of each other do you have one piece of lasagna chat if you have two pieces of lasagna and you take them and you stack them on top of each other do you have one piece of lasagna or do you still have two pieces of lasagna what do you think, chat? Is it just one piece of lasagna because it's just stacked? Or is it two pieces of lasagna on top of each other? What happens? What happens in that equation? Double stacked, two pieces, one. I think it's two pieces. One massive lasagna. Aren't they, the, are they the same type? They're the same type, yeah. Depends on how you word it. <laughs> the, how do you eat it? We talking Garfield here? We talking Garfield. Two because there's toppings of it twice. I think that's my answer. My answer is that it's two because most, generally speaking, most lasagnas have like a, a, a slight crust on top. So if you were to stack two pieces of lasagna on top of each other, you would be able to tell because like there's always like a slight crust on top of a lasagna. And it just, it's always going to be two separate pieces. Like in my opinion, there's never an equation where you stack two pieces of lasagna on top of each other and it's one piece of lasagna. There's never an equation where that is a thing. I think that it's always two pieces because there's no way to, to convince me that the crust layer is not going to get in between. That's my, that is, that's my opinion on it. We should, can we open up a poll uh, mods? Any mods want to open up a poll? That's the special layer. <laughs> Yeah, can we open up a poll? Let's see what the chat thinks about lasagna squared. <laughs> I love this question. I love these types of questions so much. Okay, now what if you put them on top of each other, then you bake them again? Whoa, twice baked lasagna? Um. Okay, like, so like that variable, I think it's one piece then. You just messed, you're like breaking my world with that question. Because technically, if you bake it again, then it is maybe one piece because it's a one baked thing. Like, that's not fair. That's not a fair variable. It, that's not fair. You're breaking the question. That, <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. That's twice baked lasagna. That's not single bake. <laughs> What are we talking about? That's funny. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So the question you're answering on the poll is, if you take two pieces of lasagna separate and put them on top of each other, is it one piece of lasagna? So you can say yes if you think it's one piece. No if you think it's two pieces. I think that's that's how we're wording it. <laughs> all right all right let's get back to our gameplay we're just cheesing i don't know somebody asked me what my favorite food was and all of a sudden now we're talking about philosophies and lasagna so this is just how this tw this stream goes sometimes we've gone down the rabbit hole <laughs> what's up flare tail if you will allow the top piece to make the crust soft with the juices then it becomes a soft layer <laughs> Rabbit holes are perfect for lazy Sundays. 100% agreed. Now I'm hungry. It's 9 a.m. and I'm cra craving lasagna. You and me both, dude. One Piece lasagna? Never saw that anime. <laughs> Welcome to Scuffed Philosophy Population HGG fam. All right, one more fossil. We're just going to skip our facts on this one. Sorry to disappoint you this time, Blathers. All right, we can go. Should we should we take art to Blathers today? 
And then, since we have art, should we, should we take art to, um... Should we take art to Blathers today since we have art already and not wait for Crazy Red? I think we should... Let's go get some art. Because, I, I mean, waiting is just going to de delay the, uh, art, the art section of the museum. You've been collecting a ton of fossils if you want them. Oh, thank you, Flair. Um, I'll take them from you in the future for sure. Somebody bring up that meme that if you stack two pizzas, you have... But if you stack two lasagnas, I have one. Yeah, that's that's what I brought up. That's what we were talking about, yeah. <laughs> Do you think giving him art would trigger Red to visit your island quicker? No. So I already got the confirmation that we're getting Red. We actually figured it out seeing vocals. The way it works is... Um, Crazy Red shows up on your island when you donate 60 items to the museum. But... So Blathers won't take art until you donate like 60 items to the museum or something and then blathers says hey we're now accepting art and then the next day you'll find crazy red on your island so i don't think you can even give blathers art early i think it's all based off of this whole like how many things you have to donate to blathers before um and it counts the stuff you you donated at the beginning before he triggers the conversation about art so I'm pretty sure that's what how it works. I, now, I might not have all the details, so I'm not speaking from fact. I'm just speaking from um, conver like knowledge that the chat, the chat, the chat, knowledge that the chat it the ch has given me. I was trying to say chatot. Isn't that a Pokemon? Chatot? Chatot? The cute little bird Pokemon. <laughs> the chat. -it. How long have you been streaming? um today specifically for two hours and 30 minutes i was a little late today so normally at this time we'd be streaming for three hours but um i started a little late i slept in today a chatter shot all right um let's store this stuff all right storage is full Let's go grab some of this art for Blathers. Let's grab the amazing painting. This game's a rip off of Stardew. So there's approximately 19 people that we have to ban from the chat. So if you guys want, if you guys, if you mods want to get get on that, 19 people have to get banned. There are two butt carpets. Yeah, I got gifted another one yesterday. I was just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like looking at the poll results. I was looking at the poll results when I said that. <laughs> Brown, brown. <laughs> What's up, Rosie? Welcome back. Don't confuse me. <laughs> Notes for later after my movie's finished. I say yes to lasagna no matter the context. Now that's respect. Slowly turning into a bear cub island. I have olive, blue bear, and June. Guess I should add stitches. Yeah, and Poncho. Poncho's so cute. And ponchos too. <laughs> Angela, by the way, good morning. Thanks for hosting some islands last night. Big shout outs to everyone who made it to the Discord and Chill. We're definitely going to try to bring Discord and Chill back in the future. And it was a lot of fun hanging out for the anniversary in Discord. We, we did exactly what we set out to do. We vibed all night. We hung out. We took pictures. We fished. We we, we swam. We dove. We, we, we had a jam band at one point. It was just like just like a bunch of vibing and chilling. We were wishing on stars. We were hanging out cozy. Time traveled back to a heavy star event so that we could come and wish on stars. It was just so much fun. It was so classic Animal Crossing. Like, yeah, we raided Rosie. Like, I, I saw Rosie online. I was going to my friends, and I saw Rosie online, and I couldn't help but just, like, show up to Rosie's island. Like, again, just, like, back in the day, just showing up to your friend's island. 
Hey, I walk into Rosie's Island with my big old bag on my head, bobbing on in, dude. <laughs> it was so much fun, dude. Then I thought I was just going to pop into Rosie's Island for like five minutes. I ended up staying for a whole KK Slider concert. We ended up we ended up staying for a whole KK Slider concert. I was like, we were there for like an hour, dude. <laughs> it was great, dude. Thinking over how cute the custom designs for Windows are in the portal. I had to check some out. Thank you, Emily, for the follow, and welcome to the stream. Thank you again, Sith Lord, for three months. Appreciate all the support. We've been, we've been grinding our way towards our next emote slot. We're kind of getting there. It's going to be real tough. It's going to be real tough. We might get there. We also might not. It's like we're limited on time from, from, the, from the partnership celebration last month. Uh, how may I be of service? I found a piece of art. Who? Is that so? What manner of art will you be showing me? I am Olaf Lutta. I have an amazing painting. Hello, family of friends. Welcome in. Unless I'm mistaken, and I'm not, that is an amazing painting. Who? But it is so much more than an amazing painting than I ever could have imagined. Now, if you were to donate this amazing painting, your generosity would enable us to add an art exhibit to our beloved museum. What you, what say you? Might I give this work of art a new home? I'm donating it. Jolly good and hoot hoot hooray! Splendid news indeed! I really can't thank you enough. It pleases me greatly to say that I am now able to apply for an expansion to the museum. Ooh! So much to do! I must prepare for construction immediately. Ah, Joshua, a thousand thanks indeed. Thanks, chat. That was all you, baby. I was hearing your voice, and I like wasn't reading your text in my voice, if that makes sense. Yeah, Rosie Poo, it does. It actually does make sense, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. We just hang out too much, clearly. Just woke up. Same here, family and friends. I've been up for about two hours now, and things are we're finally getting there. Things are things are coming around. We're coming to. Wait, did I plant this too close to the cliff? I did. This would have grown. No, we don't hang out enough. True. True. Brown, brown. All right, much better. Brown, 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 brown. I I feel. We hang out enough to hear each other's voices in in our brains, but definitely not enough in that sense. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was fun. I need more of Joshua in my day. Never can go wrong with some more rosy poo. Are you going to play this island until you reach three stars? Yeah, and then we're going to turn it into a, a hide and seek island, Magical Mage. So starting tomorrow, we can start the journey for three stars, which is getting a campsite and getting more villagers. And then after that, we're going to turn it into a hide and seek island. And it's going to be sick. I already have I already have plans. I'm already envisioning the floor plans. So here's how we're going to do it so far. We're going to start off by walling the whole island in. All around the edge of the island, we're going to have a, a three a three tier wall. And then after we wall the whole island in, we're going to start building different structures and different areas and uh, different designs and little mazes and stuff to make hide and seek and hide and seek tag and manhunt more exciting. So we're going to still design the island like you would design and decorate a normal island. And what I mean by that is there's still going to be little areas, you know, maybe a little library, maybe a little cafe. But while we decorate all of this stuff, we're going to keep hide and seek in mind. So instead of having that open perspective where you can see into the cafe, maybe I'll have simple panels on the front so you can go and hide behind the simple panels. You know, I'm always, I'm going to keep hide and seek in mind the whole time that we build the island. So all of our little designs, our farm, we might have a nice little farm, but our farm will have enough little things to hide behind to make things interesting. The combination of all of the things, everything I just said and warp pipes, it's gonna make hide and seek super, super interesting in the next coming weeks. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. 
Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna be working on it mostly on stream, but I'm gonna do some work off stream as well because I want to make sure I finish it within a timely manner. And then um we'll also be doing maybe like maybe like obstacle course kind of stuff. Like basically I'm trying to keep like manhunt in mind as well. Like the idea of hide and seek tag. I want to be able to play hide and seek tag as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to make it. So where you're sometimes you're hopping around, maybe sometimes you got to pull out that ladder and climb up a cliff, and be, those interactions are gonna make hide and seek like more and like especially hide and seek tag and stuff more friendly because it's not gonna just be about you running from. It's not gonna be about you running from everyone. It's gonna be about you running in the right direction and not getting caught up in and random like jump ponds while you're trying to jump on ponds and find the right jump i'm getting closer to you with my net for hide and seek tag like that kind of stuff so it's going to be a lot of fun make a mario course around it as an added challenge yeah that's that's one of the ideas for sure there's uh, we're actually thinking about doing a full a full like video game themed island this time around and change it up in the future but maybe not i'm thinking future here's my idea I'm thinking we do a futuristic themed island with a huge Mario section on it. So I'm thinking maybe like a quarter of the island will be like a cool Mario designed hiding area. And then I think a lot of the island's going to be like a video game futuristic theme. Kind of like I saw somebody do like a vaporwave island once that gave me like a really good idea. I mean, I'm thinking something along like the vaporwave feel like 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 future funk. Like maybe like neon pastel colors all around and stuff like that. Like I'm thinking like that's kind of going to be the vibe of the island. Wastelands and Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. We're going to figure it out together though. We're going to be on stream like together doing this. And we'll be we're diving into pattern. We got a hundred slots of patterns now to use to make the island look good. Because here's the thing. We want the island to look good. If there's one thing that I want to be certain is that we don't just want to have this like awesome hide and seek island. I want the hide and seek island to also look good and be fun to be on and not just be a big mess of terraforming, you know? So I'm going to try my hardest to like, to like really make a point to decorate alongside the hide and seek stuff. It'd be cool. I hope it all works out. I hope it all works out. We do have a panda. Yeah, we have a, we have Chester. We can go say hi to him. What's up, Emily Dollins? Welcome in. Good to see you today. Yeah, not enough people play hide and seek. I agree. I'm excited to play some. We we play hide and seek like once a week. We try to. So if you guys are new to the channel, um, we currently try to play hide and seek like once a week, or maybe like um I have a thing called hide and seek tours where you as a viewer host hide and seek for me and a couple other viewers. And then at the end of hide and seek, we come and visit your islands. Or like we we stay there and we showcase your island. Sorry, my brain's a little, I'm a little tired today, but you get what I'm saying. So like I do hide and seek like roughly once a week or so. So stick around for sure. Um, today would have been a hide and seek day normally if I wasn't so tired. So today we're just vibing. And well, plus we started a new island. So this whole week specifically kind of threw our normal schedule to the wind. We normally do island visits on Wednesdays. We didn't do that this week, so on and so forth. So once we get kind of settled into this new island that we started last Monday, then we'll get back to our normal schedule of of dream addresses and hide and seek and all that stuff. So if you guys like the sound of that, don't be afraid of that follow button. We stream a lot. We stream pretty much every day. What's up, Necro? Welcome to welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you today, Necro. Sweetberry Muffin. Thank you for popping in. A warp pipe outside of my house, a hole surrounded by two level cliffs. Actually, no way of passing through. Another pipe hidden in the back of my island. The only way to get to my house is to find the pipe. That's cool. That's actually super cool. I like the idea of like hiding stuff. So like having areas on your island that you can't get to without using a warp pipe. That's such a cool concept to me. So I'm really happy. One day I'll have to come over and see what you're talking about, Lou. I'm still building some, moving some buildings around. I just started playing a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Well, can we get a, a hearty welcome in the chat for Emily Dallins? Welcome to the Animal Crossing community, Emily. Good to see you. I, we, I, I'm not going to lie. I love meeting new players to the game. I love it. It's just so cool. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, do not be shy to ask if you need any kind of tips or anything. But to be honest, I'm a bit of a teacher. So whether or not I have something to teach you is not the point. But stick around for sure and you'll I'll, I'll be spouting stuff off all the time. Um, it seems like you you seem pretty settled into the game, though, just from your, your message. But 
Yeah, we have a pretty big community of crossers here. We're always trying to, to help each other out and interact. Name change, my old name was Skanute. Oh, Skanute! Sup, dude? How you doing? I didn't know you changed your name. Oh, I came back to, to my boy doing yoga. Wait, you're done? I was about to do yoga with you. Oh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Barum, 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 barum. Ba barum, barum. Come here. Deciding where I want things is the hardest. That's the worst part, Emily, yeah. Yeah, decorating and deciding where you want stuff, it's the worst. You'll get there for sure, I'll bet. I'll bet. You're doing a pet store? Oh, that's cute. I know there's hamster cages in the game. I'm not sure what else there is. What's up, Hyrule Holly? What's up on a Sunday? Good to see you. Um, I was going through my pictures on my Switch from la throughout the whole year, Hyrule Holly. We are celebrating one year of New Horizons yesterday. And there was a picture of me hanging out with you wearing your Link's Awakening crab shirt. And I was I was gushing over it. It was fun. How you liking your new island? So far, so good. It's, re it's really good. It's really good, Necro. Thank you for asking. We're on our sixth day. We're on our sixth day of, uh, of New Island Journey. Oh, hey. I, I wasn't expecting you. Still have a picture I drew you for your B-Day? Yeah. Yeah, I, I save all that stuff on my computer. And I rotate it in our community art section. So, here, I'll show you real quick. Um, at the start of every one of our streams and during breaks... We have a community art section and it shows off everyone's community art at the start of the streams and in, in between breaks. I don't take many breaks, but so, yeah, I, I rotate all of the art you guys do for the community on the stream. Like every month or so, I change it out. So I keep all that stuff. I keep everything you guys draw for me. I love all that stuff. The fishy place them have lights, so I use some of them. And they're hamsters and puppy plushes. That's cute. Yeah, between the fishes and the maybe some bug cages, maybe. Um, maybe you could put like some turtles in there. The turtles like to sit out of a cage though, but something like that could be cute. Oh, you know what? Th there's some um, sea turtles have like they come in like a little box with water. The sea turtles could be a cute one for your your um your pet shop as well. NWO, yeah, don't worry about it, NWO. No worries, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the support, dude. Hey, I wasn't expecting you. Let's chat. Oh, also, Wavy, I didn't even shout out your gifted sub to Black Pearl. I was, like, holding off for a second. Thanks for the gifted sub to Black Pearl, Wavy. Thank you so much. Black Pearl, enjoy your emotes and your adless experience. Taking care of the mom dukes. Did you see the results of your Happy Home Academy? Mine said so many bugs, which is cool. <laughs> Yo, what's cool? Thank you, Wavy. Thank you so much. Have you seen the cat pattern that looks like a house you designed with an umbrella? I did see that. Voltron Defender. Um, you talk. I saw that the umbrella pattern that looks like a cat. It looks awesome. Yeah, like a cat in like a little house. Oh, he came outside to hang out with us. Oh, he's playing Naruto. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's play Naruto together. Here, I'll be the bad guy. What do you think? Oh, you're the... Oh, you're just running into me? You're just headbutting me, dude? Hold on. Do I have, uh... Do I have, like... Let me take a pic... Smile! Cheese! I don't have the angry emote. I was gonna use the angry emote, but I don't have one. I'm still new. He's ugly to me. Chester's definitely an odd fella. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to use a aggravation, but I don't have it yet. I'm still too new. What's up, Classics? How you doing, by the way, Alto Girl? We also saw some awesome pictures with you throughout the day. Alto Girl, we have so many cool memories together in this game. That sharing that stuff yesterday for the one year anniversary, it was so cool, dude. We have so many cute little memories together hanging out on your early islands. Pride Island and stuff. It was super cool. Did you buy turnips? I'm going to skip buying turnips uh, day one here. This is the first time we're seeing the turnip seller. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip buying the turnips. I'm not going to commit. Right after registering a number of an Aussie friend. Does anybody know how this is possible? I don't know. 
I don't really know much about um I don't really know much about um how that works. Bam 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 Um Did I ever turn in the peacock butterfly? I don't think I did. I did not. All right, let's save this for Blathers. What's up, Jet Plays? How you doing? Welcome back, Jet. Good to see you. Appreciate you popping in this morning. How are you? How's your Sunday going? Brown, brown. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. So many flowers. So many flowers, indeed. All right, I want to save this fossil because I don't feel like going back to Blathers right now. You know, what? we didn't check our mail though. Let's check our mail. Oh, boom! Oh, we got a letter from Zixie. It's, a, it's time for a timer. Oh, was that was that an accidental? Was that a misclick? Was that a misclick? I had a feeling that was a misclick. I wasn't sure. I, I thought I missed something. <laughs> Yo, Payton, you're you're all good, dude. Don't worry. What's up, Poke Dam? Welcome in. What's up, Poke Dam? Welcome back. I restarted my island and got Kyle as the visiting smug villager. Do I have to take him? Yes. I do apologize. You do to to inform you. But you have to take your first smug villager. You have to. And it kind of sucks. But you have to take your first smug villager. Yeah. Kyle was your first camper too? Yeah, he was on my island for a while. I slept pretty okay, Lady Sky. How are you? What? Oh, nothing, Patton. Um, somebody accidentally banned you. <laughs> somebody misclicked and accidentally banned you. The mods are going off the hinge. The mods are just banning everyone. Everyone, duck, for, duck and cover. The mods are out here banning them. Bam, bam. <laughs> you joined the Discord? Let me get you some rolls. Oh, we have a bunch of Discord members. Let me get you guys some rolls here. Mm, mm, mm. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. All right, all the new members are are all set. There you guys go. Hides. It was an accident, I swear. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. Backs out of chat slowly. <laughs> yeah, you guys should be all set. I got Young Zack, Kitty Melons, Voltron, and Wonder Wonderland. You should be all set. All right, this Discord's pretty new, so it's still pretty basic, but... It's it's our little home. Um, we we do have a big community Discord now. I don't t I don't usually talk about this because I don't want to overwhelm people, but we have a gigantic community Discord with over two thousand members. That's called the Hyrule Gaming Group. The Discord you just joined is my personal Discord, my own little home. That's all about me, and and nothing else. I don't allow I'll allow any kind of promotion or anything. But the community Discord with over two thousand members. We allow, we, you know, you can ask for permission to promote your streams if you're a content creator and stuff, your art, stuff like that. So you're welcome to join both if you are into that, but you don't have to do that. My personal Discord is fine. Yo, I'll be, I'm in both every day, so. You never join the personal? Yeah, just exclamation point Discord, Mama Bear. What's up, Darcy? Yo, I've missed you, friend. I hope you're well. Piss Green Link, you were the chosen one. Welcome in, Green Link. Good to see you. After the Cape, by the way, welcome in here. And thanks for joining yesterday after the Cape. It was good to have you in the Discord. Good to have y'all in the building. Boom, 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 boom. What's up, age dude? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, 
Oh, Mama Bear, you accidentally made a new account. Sometimes, like, you'll make a new account when you join Discord. I noticed you accidentally made a new account. So you'll probably end up joining again. I'll get you some rolls when you join for sure. That's like the worst. That's like the that's the worst thing when you join a Discord and you accidentally make a new account. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, dude. It's the worst feeling. Oh, you don't have to apologize. You never need to apologize, Mama Bear. Yeah, you're okay. You didn't do nothing wrong to me. I was just letting you know just in case you didn't notice. You missed out yesterday, but there's always next time. I'm going to try to bring back Discord and Chills. Like every other Friday, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try to bring them back. But yeah, you guys didn't miss out on like much, you know. What's the other Discord? Um, it's this one right here, Emily. Over two thousand members. Big, 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 big place. Again, I don't normally bring it up because it's like a little overwhelming, but it's like the home of our stream team and stuff like that. Um, Payton, Payton, you might want to refresh. Hit it with a quick refresh, Payton. You got gifted a sub. So you don't have to worry about ads. And then your chat should fix. Thank you again, Alto Girl, for the gifted sub to Payton. You know you didn't have to do that, you goon. And then ACNH Animal Crossing. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Alto Girl with the gifted sub to family of friends, too. What the heck? Alto's out here slaying them, dude. Oh my gosh, Alto Girl. You better cut it out. Thank you so much, friend. Alto Girl, you're too kind to me, and we're blessed to have you in this community. Exclamation point, Alto Girl in the chat. We'll give you guys access to Alto Girl's music SoundCloud. If you didn't know, our friend Alto is not only a content creator on Twitch, but also one of the most wonderful mu musicians and singers you'll ever interact with. I didn't have to say all that, but I want to make it clear that Good morning, Leg, Cuddle. Alto Girl deserves all the love. I'm just, uh, if I look distracted, I'm just giving rolls out here. If I look distracted, I'm just hooking up all the new members of the Discord joining. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Contemplate, for seven months. Holy heck, Contemplate. Welcome in here, baby. Welcome in here, baby. Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Thank you for seven months. Welcome back for another excellent month of content. Oh, you're already in our big Discord, Emily? Nice. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the kind words. It means a lot. Yeah, of course, Alto Girl. Yeah, this place is, your, your, is home, dude. We're going to try to support you in your endeavors. Oh, you know what? We never watered... Um, we never watered our reds today. Bam, bam. Lady Echo, yo! What's up, Lady Echo? How you been? Welcome to the stream. Welcome in here. Welcome in here. Doing good. Hope you and Chatter well. Yeah, doing all right today. Certainly can't complain. Not that complaining gets as far in life anyways. Certainly cannot complain. Enjoy your lurk, Cabrilla. I was clicking the wrong link. I just joined the bigger one. Oh, I got you. I just got you covered. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Got you covered. Boom. Yeah, it's a pretty big place, Emily. So if you need any help with anything, just ask. That goes to anybody. Don't ever be afraid to ask Discord questions. Um, You're in PST. Oh my gosh, it is so early for you. We have a couple PST fam in our streaming community, and they all hate me for starting my stream so early <laughs> we start our stream three hours ago so like yeah i usually try to go for six hours though and then um i stream at nighttime as well for you pst fam i come back at nighttime i usually stream at like 6 p.m um p uh, est so for you like 3 p.m but i actually one of the reasons i started doing night streams was for was for you pacific coast fam pst is california um Sobers, California in the States. You got two butt rugs? Yeah, we're doubled up in here. We're doubled up in here. What's up, Viper? How'd the fishing go yesterday? It was fun, Viper. How are you? What's up, Shay? Welcome in. You're on the West Coast. I was so happy to find an early morning stream. Hey, I'm glad. I'm glad that I, I can... I like being here. I'm a morning person, so I like being here. 
This is like where I belong as far as days go. You don't like normally being up at 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I know my streams are the worst for for morning people as far as um if you're trying to come catch me at the start of the stream but like i said we try to run for like six hours in the morning so you can at least come catch like half the stream or a portion of it there's always the vods and then these new night streams like next week we're thinking about doing animal crossing at nighttime for all of you instead so i'm thinking maybe next week or maybe starting like Early next week, when when um Story of Seasons comes out, we'll be playing Story of Seasons, um, Pioneers of Olive Town, in the morning, and we'll be doing Animal Crossing, at like nighttime, starting like Wednesday or Thursday, I think. So new Story of Seasons in the morning, and then we'll do AC at night to like since we want to play, we like playing AC. So yeah, so you guys will get a chance to play some AC at night, and I'll get a chance to catch like bugs and fish at night, and we'll vibe. It'll be cool. Mm, mm, what's up lady jovia yeah even in co ac is always so cozy yeah we don't um i don't do a lot of evening ac so it'd be good in the meantime we're gonna be doing the wastelands we'll be doing some of that wasteland stuff too what's up fuzzy buddy thanks for the follow chrissy thanks for the follow lady echo thank you again for five months how you been lady echo i seriously hope you're well appreciate you popping in where do i make a watering can we need softwood, and then we need an iron. I think we have both of that. I think we have all of that. Yep, softwood, boom, perfect amount, and then iron. And that frees up another space in my inventory for something. I can store something in there. Couldn't sleep, so got to watch a stream. Hey, how you doing, Jovia? I never said good morning. Hey, fam, what's up, Sally SOS? You're getting your vaccine today. I heard that um, you could feel like a little icky after, so take it easy. Hopefully you have nothing to do. You are all great this morning. Yo, what's up, Jelly Sully? Jelly, it was so good having you in the Discord last night. Thank you for coming out. It meant the world to me, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us. It was good. It was nice getting to meet you officially. Um, I know we've hung out a little bit in Discord, I think, right? But I, I felt like that was, like, the first time we, like, actually sat and chatted in Discord a bunch. Like, you and me specifically, but a lot of people were kind of new to Discord and show. That was your first time? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it felt like the first time I really got a chance to, like, hear your voice and, like, chat with you. It was fun. It was a little obtuse. It was a little bit of a crazy day. I'll be honest with you, a little bit crazier than I like as far as, like, some of the randomness. But it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> brought the new laptop i could pick up on the 27th it's a big upgrade oh nice lady jovia getting a new laptop stepping up nice sorry i'll keep it pg no no it wasn't that at all um i actually i prefer discord to be like open because i make it very clear very clear to people as soon as we start discord and chill like i'm not i'm not pg and off stream like not even close so it's not about that it was mostly the soundboard not to call out boats I didn't want to say specifically what, what I meant because I didn't want to call out Boatsies, but it was the soundboard that kind of got me. It was at the, There was a couple times where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. <laughs> it was fun though. The point is, is that we were having a lot of fun and that's what matters. So I don't care. In retrospect, we all had a lot of fun. But when I made that comment about it getting a little crazier than usual, that's what I meant specifically. All the conversations were fun. We were having good conversations all day. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah no nothing against boats boaterham um re really respects the community and he actually reached out to me and even asked me ahead of time like yo is it cool if i play around with the soundboard and chat so like it's not like it's not like he like made me uncomfortable or anything i knew what i was getting into i knew what i was getting into with my boy boatsies i love talking with everyone it was really nice yeah it was a lot of fun all right, let's get out of this creepy house. I don't know why I have Dirge. Dirge is the only song that I own. The snake impression was so good. Yeah, Boatsies is good with that stuff. Dummy thick. <laughs> um, Where is... Oh, I can't order Nook Shopping. I can't go to Nook Shopping because Resident Services. Dang it, dude. I wanted to go order myself a new song because KK Dirge sucks. 
I mean, I love KK Dirge. Let me take that back. But it's a little too creepy for... It's a little too creepy for uh, trying to vibe in my house. <laughs> like, I do like KK Dirge, though. He probably has a great mic for voice stuff, too. Yeah, he does. Actually, I think he has the Elgato Wave. He has the Elgato Wave. He has a really nice microphone, yeah. If you're if you're lurking, Bo Boatsies, I think it's the Wave, right? Okay, no, I upgraded the watering can. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, I, I thought I didn't upgrade the watering can. I get send you two songs. Oh, thank you. Just turn it off. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today, Jude Fru. Welcome in today, Jude. I can mail you a song. I thought Boater had an XLR setup. He might. I thought he had an Ogato Wave. The well, last I checked, he was using an Ogato Wave. I, I'm i not sure, though. What's up, Ty Ty? You need some stale cupcakes in your wife? Yeah, Wave 3. The Wave 3. Oh, there he is right there in the chat. It's the Wave 3. Yeah. What's up, Boater? <laughs> I had a feeling you were lurking, so that's why I figured I'd, I'd see if you were here. Hope you're having a good day today, by the way, Boater. Good to see you in here. Mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have shooting stars on my island right now. You're all invited. Oh, thanks, Angela. We can go over and do some shooting stars. I'm um, sure. Sure. If you want to send the dodo code to me in Discord or in Twitch DM, I'll come over for a little bit. Sure. Caught me at a time where I'm down to vibe a little on this new island. Get some stars on my new character. Just phasmophobia, nice, nice. I have to like sit down and watch you play that game sometime so that you can teach me like how it all works. I've watched uh I've watched Sylvia play. Sylvia's taught me a bunch. She doesn't know that, but I've watched Sylvia play. Don't let the ghosties touch your butt. <laughs> um all right, we got our new watering can. Let's let's go ahead and water this. Let's finish. If you need anything, I have a bunch of extra stuff. Thank you. I'm like, I'm limiting. Whoa, classics! Classics coming out here with the tier one sub. That's a first time subscriber in the chat. Hope you enjoy your Legend of Tangy emotes. The best Tangy emotes on Twitch. Tangy the Queen decided it was my turn to be the hero of time and she picked up the master sword and never looked back baby tangy link i hope you enjoy the emotes the adless experience and thank you so much i appreciate you thank you for the support i only got them tangy emotes we got some good ones that's for sure there's two new ones in there by the way we got the new notes and the new d face i really love those new emotes and our tier two is all the zelda stuff besides for bless and oh, but there's a bunch of new bit tier emotes. So, um, HGG fam Courtney, and anybody else who is um, has been given those gifts, those bits away occasionally. If you start leading up towards a thousand, eventually you'll get yourself a new, a, a permanent emote. Um, for a thousand bits, you get a permanent rage, tangy rage emote. And then if you get um, five thousand bits, which is kind of a lot, you can get uh, tangy shrug permanently. And then I think 10,000 is Tangy Fail. So the cool part about this is that you don't have to be sub to use these emotes. So when I say permanent, I mean like, you could never come back to this channel, never sub, and as long as my channel still exists, you have that emote permanently in your inventory. So I tried to give you guys those emotes. I tried to give you emotes like that were usable all across Twitch that maybe weren't so focused on our community. So like fail, shrug, and rage are like very usable, I feel. Very visually usable. And you could just put, you could use those anywhere. So, so yeah, I, I really tried hard to make those bit tier emotes worth your time. Not into resetting my island. I just went through bookmarking 200 screenshots for reference. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I, I'm not into it too much myself. I feel you. Not my, my main island anyways. I say that as I just reset, but this is my personal, my community island, so. GG gets used everywhere. Do you think so? Do you, does it really? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I don't know the usage of GG, really? 
Do you, are you saying that for personal or do you, are you saying that you see it all over? I'm not Twitch savvy. <laughs> Yo, HGG fam, Courtney with the extension through May. Thank you so much. It gets used in my stream. G, I don't know. I didn't know if people were liking GG as much. I like it. I like GG a lot. So my favorite emote, I think my most used Tangy Link emote is, is Lurk though. I think my most used Tangy Link emote is probably Lurk. I'm in love with Lurk. I love just showing up in chats and just dropping a little Lurky poo. I just love showing up in chats and just being like, hey, I'm here, but I'm lurking. This is Shrug. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You you just mean you use those everywhere? Cool, Age. I was just curious. I was just curious. Jet plays you use hero and GG everywhere. I, I love those emotes. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, for dropping knowledge on me. And thank you so much for the extension to your sub and thank you for the biddies and thank you again classics for the tier one first time subscriber i've used my lurk a few times i used your lurk a few times i was actually just showing your lurk off to somebody the other day um just the other day i was just showing it off i use hype and wave all the time hype and wave yeah i think i think hype you want to know the truth i think all is one of our most our, one of our favorite emotes like I can tell, like watching the community, I think people really like all. I see all get used a lot. Cause like it, it is a good expression of Tangy, where they're just like, oh my gosh. Like it's like it could be used for like flabbergast. It could be used for like those situations where you're just like, wow, like you're starry-eyed. Like, oh wow. Like it's just good. I like that one. I see that one get used a lot. <laughs> and then yeah, hype and wave, I are they're pretty standard. I feel like those get used a lot too. That's funny. But that's what you made me think of when you brought up Hype and Wave. I was like, Hype, Wave, and All were like the first three, I think, that I fell in love with. It's thinking, but it can also be diabolical. Yeah, it has. it's a multi-use, Angela, yeah. <laughs> first Twitch I've ever watched, I'm lost. Yo, what's up, Faith Shadow? So um, we're talking about our emotes on Twitch. So Twitch has this system where you can subscribe to a channel and you get access to emotes for a month. So for 30 days, and you can use the emotes anywhere on Twitch. Now, if you click on the little smiley face at the bottom of your um, chat over here, you'll actually see you have a bunch of free emotes to use that are built into Twitch. And they're just, we call them global emotes. So if you click the little smiley face, you can use a bunch of these cute global emotes. There's cute little cats you know cute little doggos random little cool cats like so you have access to this stuff no matter where you are on twitch faith but you can also subscribe to a channel and you can use their emotes anywhere on twitch as well so like that's kind of what we're talking about i hope that was an okay explanation and uh to kind of get you hip to how twitch works uh, don't ever be afraid to ask that goes to anybody out there if you're if you're new to twitch or you're a little unsure what we're chatting about not only is it completely okay to admit that you're i don't know what this is but i'll teach you i'll do my best to teach you i could give you a more thorough explanation but i might be overdoing it so <laughs> so just let me know if you need any more advice or help faith and i'll, I'll do what i can to help you out but yeah we get a lot of new people that start twitch here in this channel i, I think it's because animal crossing is like I feel like people play Animal Crossing and then they look for Animal Crossing community and then they find Twitch, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like I've run into a lot of new members of Twitch here. It's pretty cool. I think it's the time that I stream, actually. I think that probably is the, is the truth. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've gotten six new emotes within the past two days for my channel. I'm so excited to have so many. That's cute. Your artist is doing a really good job. Happy Sunday, fam. Happy Sunday. Good to see y'all here. You know, we should probably just water all this. Well, I'm not going to water this stuff because it's going to it's gonna start growing like weeds. You showed up in my suggested. I started Twitch for ACNH. TIs. The Treasure Islands? Yeah. The Treasure Islands are nice on Twitch. They're really nice. Our friend Amir EU runs one of the best Treasure Islands I've, I've seen. One of the most interactive, welcome, wholesome chats. Um... His name is Amir EU. He's one of our Dutch friends. 
This is a good place for AC communities. Yeah, I agree, Necro. It's like one of the best places for AC communities, I feel, on Twi is on Twitch, in my opinion. And then Discord has a few good communities. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice, go for it, Pats. Nice. I got rid of all my flowers so I have more control. Usually when I get to the upper levels, flowers have taken over. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Aw, Sylvia, I'm really proud of you, friend. And I'm, I'm here if you ever need any help or advice. If you know how to use Discord. And Discord can be overwhelming as heck. These are your three most used emotes. Cuddle, Lit, and Wave. I think Fish Lit is my favorite emote uh, of yours, Jelly. <laughs> yeah, Celia and Chester. We have some cute... We have some cute villagers so far. The thing is, is where's Audie today? Should we check the museum? I haven't been able to find Audie yet. Oh, Emily. I, I think that's very kind of you. Just know that there's a lot of different ways to support a streamer um, without ever opening your wallet. I will let you know that there's a lot of ways to support streamers without ever opening your wallet and coming and lurking and, and, and watching streams, enjoying the content, chatting with us is almost worth more than a sub in a lot of ways. You have no idea. Like, yes, the subs do help help me maintain and keep everything going. But at the end of the day, you being here and chatting and enjoying the show is like above all. So thank you. I appreciate you. And I, I can I can almost tell you I'm speaking for other casters as well. Like I, I can't speak for everybody, but I can I can almost guarantee you that every streamer feels the same way. The money is nice, but what's really important is that we're putting out content that people are receiving well and people are enjoying it, you know? And if so if you're enjoying yourself here, you already subbed in my heart. I know that's cheesy, but it's true. Welcome back, Wavy. How you doing, Uncle Natsu? Happy one year of New Horizon. And sometimes you get a free sub from just hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I've um, actually walked around with a trash can to get rid of flowers. That's actually super smart, Faith. So you just plop the trash can on the ground and just like pick up the flowers and put them in. That's actually really smart. Maybe I'll do that. Just like walk around with a trash can in my inventory. Wholesome cheese, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we restarted our second island. We have two islands, Uncle Natsu, and we restarted the community one. You got your last piece of artwork for the museum. Pog, hype, hype, pog. Vanessa the kitty gifted a sub over to Glenda. Glenda, welcome back for another excellent month of content. Vanessa, thank you so much for that gifted sub. I appreciate you. All right, so we have a conversation between Celia and, and, and Chester, let's go ahead and do this conversation. This is gonna be good. So Celia's um, a normal type and Chester's a lazy. Let's see what they have to say. Celia, Chester and I were just, Chester and I were just about to try playing a, a new rhythm game, Feathers. I wanna pick the first card. It says I have to do a rhyme for walrus. Okay, um, Tall fuzz? Is that that something? Um, tall fuzz? I don't know about that. Can you use it in a sentence? Oh, why don't I go get my dictionary? No, no, wait, um, how's this? Yeah, I'm big, but I don't want anyone to make a tall fuss. Can I try again? <laughs> Hey, he made it work, baby. He made it work, baby. He made it work, baby. Did I miss a message in the chat? Oh, no. Natalie, I'm new here, so I don't know what to call you. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Wavy. Josh, Joshua, or Hylian. Uh, Hylian Descent is my gamer's tag. So you can call me Hylian. I'm Hylian Descent of the Hyrule Gaming Group. So you can always do uh, Hy call me Hylian or Hyrule. Josh, Joshua, lots of options. You know, we out here. You can call me Big Bozo. Clown shoes wearing ass mother, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> no, neither buff nor daddy. Cut that out. Cut that out. 
<laughs> What's up, Lord Chalky? Thanks so much, everyone. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Sorry I missed your question. Yeah, I do miss stuff occasionally, but don't be afraid to repost your messages. And, and mod team? Slaying it. Thank you, mod team. I technically didn't even have to say anything. You guys had already covered that question, so... I just wanted to make a joke, so... Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. Mods are too good to me. Okay, Mr. Buff, that... Chat. I am not a buff, nor daddy. Please. The only, the only dad that I am in my life is a dad to my stuffed cat. Floofs. <laughs> Bamboo Grove Wall. We'll take that. No, we won't. I'm so used to people calling me Natsu that my real name feels weird. Anyone else that way? Yeah, me. I mean, my roommate and I call each other Beatles and Hylian and like in front of like other people and they make fun of us. They'd be like, like, we'll be hanging out in real life with like his, with like his father. And I'll be like, yo, Beatles, come here. And his dad will like, give me like the funk eyes. Like, what did you just say? I'll be like, uh, Beatles, uh, uh, you know, not like drop his real name. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo, Hylian. I mean, Josh, <laughs> like all the time, dude, it happens to us all the time. I think I need to get a couple more money rocks. I feel like I've missed. No, I got the money rock itself, I think. Okay, I know what rock I'm missing. I think I know what rock I'm missing. What's up, Jen the human? Welcome back. Yo, good to see you. Having a good day so far. Having a good day so far. I hope you're doing the same. I hope you can say the same. My in real life calls me age, so it works, yeah. When your when your gaming persona takes over. Aha, here's the last rock of the day. Brown, brown, brown. And we have a money tree. We're gonna actually participate in this. You got so used to tutu that it's no longer a, a tofu that's no longer a word to me. I just hear it and I'm all like, huh? Yeah? Oh, cause like so when somebody says the word tofu, you think they're talking to you? And that's funny. <laughs> that actually makes me laugh. Um, let's go ahead and bury 10,000 today. I think we can afford to, to bury this. Nice. Yo, enjoy your lurk, uh, Emily. No, I didn't mean to bury that. Give me that back. Bury me with my money. What's up, Miss Bella? Welcome back. Two days in a row. Hope you're doing well, Miss Bella. Today's great. Just partaking in coffee. Good call. Obies, how did you know? <laughs> For me, you're either Ubies, Ubi Doobs, Oobs, Oob Doobs. Oob doobies. I got lots of different nicknames for oobies. <laughs> What's up, life anecdote? Welcome in. All right, we're gonna do some tree shaking. We're gonna start from the tier, top tier and go all the way down. Only as, almost as many as Abigail had. Y'all have entered the Hyrule Zone. Just some sticks. So we're trying to make sure that we're, we're protected for Wasp. So we shake the tree directly from the front and our character will look to the left or right if we get a Wasp. So this way, we don't ever deal with getting stung, which is why I also clear why I also clear the weeds from the bottom, from the base of the tree. I found a great new channel, but one of my mods went there by my real name and I just left. Oh, that sucks, kinda. Yeah, some people don't like that. I know I know plenty of people in my life that do not like having their real name like. Oh, wait, never mind. I see I see what you're saying. 
I misinterpreted your sentence. So you found a great new channel, but one of the mods there went by your real name. So you were like, this is awkward. You, you, you're probably like sick of hearing your real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely misread that. I was like reading into that. <laughs> you just learned the B1 yesterday. Nice, nice faith. What's up Worthy Khan, by the way, welcome in. I missed the early game music too. That's why, that's like one of the reasons that today's bittersweet because this is the last day we get this music. Um, Worthy Khan, this is the last day that we get this beautiful music. It's kind of bittersweet. Tomorrow, resident services is open. I almost don't want it to end, chat. Let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit so you guys can jam a little bit more with me. Just for today. Today's our last day hearing the music, so we'll turn it up a little. It'll be a little louder than usual, but... Any tips? Any scorpion tips? Yeah, so... Here, I'll try to fake... Alright, let's use this flower as the example, okay? This flower right here is the scorpion. This is how you want to get scorpions and tarantulas, all right? So you pull your net out, you hold it with A, and as you get close to it, the scorpion is gonna go into a pouncing stance, right? He's gonna get prepared. You know, they're about to get you. And then you want to stop moving. It's like red light, green light. As soon as you see the scorpion or the, or the tarantula it go like act like it's about to attack you pause red light then it'll calm down again it'll go back down again take a few steps all of a sudden it'll it'll get ready to attack him pause red light then it calms down green light then he pause again red light and you keep doing this until you slowly get close to the scorpion and then you snatch it up so I can't show you without having a scorpion in front of me, like truly, but I hope that makes sense. Like you you literally just move until it makes a move and then you stop, and then it calms down and then you move a little bit, then you stop, and then it calms down and you keep going until you get close to it. Hey, random bug, I didn't mean to catch that. <laughs> Remember the old AC games, there wasn't any wasp in pine tree, fruit trees, so they're all in, tre they're in all trees now, that's right. That's right, picky royalty. And it rotates every day. I don't know about fruit trees in this game, but I can definitely confirm that they're in um, every other tree. Watching you is the reason I plan to get a Switch in New Horizons. A, I mean, this game is amazing. I feel like you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna regret buying this game. Don't try to hit it behind a fence. A tarantula chased me all across my island. Really? <laughs> I've never seen that. Not, yeah, I'm pretty sure fruit trees are still off limits for for that stuff. I'm pretty sure. All right, we have to go make a new uh, slingshot real quick. Wait, what did we just get? Trashed tools, nice. Let's go make a new screenshot or slingshot before we're done shaking trees because I don't want to miss out on any balloons. Eh, I'm way too lazy for this. Never mind. We'll miss out on a balloon or two. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Let me just finish shaking, shaking the tier two trees first. We're looking for free items and we're looking for wasps to sell. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They made it easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier to deal with tarantulas and scorpions in this game versus the old games. In the old games, I'm pretty sure it was super hard to deal with tarantulas and scorpions. It was like, I remember it being like something that I wasn't the best at. I remember it being hard. It could just be my memory, but I remember it being pretty difficult. Is there any trees on this tier? Yeah, there is. Has anybody else missed when ACN ACNL rocks used to drop those crystals? I do kind of miss that. You know what I miss? I miss sitting on rocks. Why, why did they take out the ability to sit on rocks? Like, I miss being able to sit on rocks. Like, it's so awkward that they took that out. Yo, good morning, Devin. Like, it's just, like, such a little detail that, like, I miss, dude. 
It's just weird. Permission to leave? Granted. You can sit out. Yeah, you can craft rock. Maybe that's the logic. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe they they took it out because you could just craft your own stone stools. I just like miss being able to sit on the natural rocks. It, I know it's a little, it's like a cute little thing to like to miss. You know what I mean? Like it's not a big deal, is my point. But I do miss it. I'm just coming back to the game after my son destroyed my island. Oh no! Well, welcome back to the game, friend. Welcome back to the game. If you have any questions about about um the game just feel free to ask we have a pretty a pretty active animal crossing community like we all love this game a lot play it a ton and um can probably help in some ways if you ever need anything like for example items advice tips design tips any of that kind of stuff we're pretty good mm -mm. I miss the stump patterns. Oh, I miss the stump patterns. Oh, why'd you gotta do me like that? I forgot this about the stump been pattern. A great lazy Sunday morning so far. Just wanted to share some love with my favorite buff daddy. <laughs> Mama bear with a thousand bits, and I can't even be mad at you. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the thousand bitties, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Another burrito! Get a burrito today! Oh my gosh. Oh, the 1k bits badge. Enjoy the rage emote. You can use it when I'm raging out about not catching fish. It's great. It's a good emote. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama Bear. I'm, the first time I got the Triforce pattern in New Leaf, I squealed. Same. Because I didn't actually know it was possible the first time I got it. And I was just like, whoa. What kind of games do you stream? So I stream, um, I'm a variety, sorry, I'm an Animal Crossing streamer with a variety streak every once in a while. So you're mainly going to get Animal Crossing from my channel, specifically in the morning streams. Otherwise, I do night streams where I'm really starting to embrace the variety side of my casting. Um, I usually say I'm a Nintendo baby at heart with the variety gamer's soul. What I mean by that is I grew up on Nintendo games and I'm always going to be playing something Nintendo re related, whether on the side or my main game. But I do tend to, to branch out there, you know, Bethesda, Fallout. I grew up on MMOs. I grew up on... You know world of warcraft like so i played so many different games i'm a huge fan of so many different genres and styles of games and i do sh show some of that on stream so to give you game specific examples our stream so far has played all the animal crossings um we play stardew valley story of seasons we'll play the new one coming out we had a big pokemon sword and shield streak for a while tons of zelda i am hyrule gaming group highly in descent that's a zelda reference the legend of zelda so we do lots of zelda here as well it's like my favorite game franchise so um as of late we've done like a bunch of zelda stardew valley animal crossing we have story of seasons coming out soon we're gonna play that this week a little bit of minecraft at nighttime i know minecraft's not everyone's favorite thing we do a little bit of that at nighttime i try to keep it light because i feel like people just don't like minecraft um yeah so like that's 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 a good description. I I don't want to go too far. <laughs> I think I covered all the bases. So yeah, that's like that's pretty much our bag right now. I can tell you games that we're looking forward to real quick, and this is for everybody, not just for Emily, but um, Pokemon Snap at the end of April, the new Story of Seasons Olive Town. We're starting in a few days. Um, we're gonna be playing Minecraft in the PM for the next couple days. It's starting tonight. We have a new thing called the Wasteland. It's like a Fallout themed wasteland server fallout is a post-apocalyptic era game i'm checking that out um we're gonna be doing a brand new zelda playthrough here soon maybe of ocarina of time or phantom hourglass or maybe a fresh playthrough a, no a fresh normal playthrough of breath of the wild maybe on that one and then also stuff to look forward to is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. I'm going to be playing Mystery Dungeon DX in April, I think. And you also have um, 
more Sword and Shield to look forward to because I want to play the expansions. I haven't played the expansions in Sword and Shield. So like, there's a bunch of games that I'm going to be playing over the next few weeks, probably. So of course, lots of Animal Crossing. We're going to be playing a new Zelda, a new old Zelda. We'll be doing Pokemon Snap when it releases. Um, it's a rough idea. We're going to be doing some Retro Crossing because um, Animal Crossing is having its 20th anniversary next month. So we're going to spend next month dabbling into the older Animal Crossings again. You guys will be checking that out here as well. What's up, Crown Jewel? Welcome in. Nice name change. I can already see it. Adult Swim stream wasted in the wasteland. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, Alto Girl. April's going to be hype. It's going to be a lot of fun. April's going to be dope. I'm going to be jam-packing April with a lot of games. So we're going to have to really stream a lot and just try to find the balance. Rustic Geek, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your work lurk. The only Zelda game you don't care for is Link's Awakening. The one on the Switch, huh? It's not for everybody. Link's Awakening is a different style of Zelda that's like definitely unique, right? So I, I don't blame you at all for not liking it. Every Zelda is so different that I think that you're not gonna like every Zelda game. Like I personally love all the Zelda games, which what's ma which, which makes me highly in descent. I love every Zelda for all of their different unique tr features and traits but I completely respect and understand that not every Zelda is for everyone. Some of them are, are kind of annoying. Yo, welcome in, welcome in today. Chirp, good to see you. All right, real quick chat. I gotta go grab a bottle of water. It's right on the stairs. I'll literally be right back. I need a bottle of water, I'm, I'm dying. I can't just drink this tea. So give me just a sec. What's up, Chippy Finch? Oh, big stretches, big stretches! Ugh. Big, 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 big stretches. Oh. Big stretches. You've been playing Link's Awakening? It's too confusing. Link's Awakening is a very hard game. Yeah, it came from an era of gaming that was just a lot harder, and they kept that difficulty in the remake. It's it's a hard game. You're definitely not alone there. I'm, it's hard for me, and I, I played the game a lot as a kid. Why is it so many streamers do restarts now? Because on um, the anniversary chirp, Animal Crossing just had its one year, New Horizons just had its one year anniversary yesterday. So I wasn't the only one that had this idea for sure. I started my island on last Monday, and a lot of people have been resetting for this anniversary. Just kind of getting a feel for the game again. You love Minish Cap? Minish Cap's a good game. We'll see you later, family of friends. Have a great day. If you guys have a free hand, get some pieces in the chat for our friend, family of friends. We'll see you later, family. Thanks for popping in. You love Ocarina so much. I was afraid to play any other edition. Ocarina's so good. Oh, we'll save that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. There we go. Mm -mm. Never played any Zelda. My hubs is ashamed. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's not for everybody. That's funny. A kettle. Oh, that was a rhetorical question. Sorry. Ah, yeah. Um, ki ki kind of hard to tell that kind of stuff through text. Chirp. Try putting a kappa at the end of your sentence. Um. Not sure if you, how long, how often you've interacted on the internet before, but sarcasm and rhetorical questions don't translate through text. So you might want to, you know, you might want to put a kappa or something, you know, you know, maybe, maybe or not. Or you could just troll your way through the internet. Your choice. What's up, Munchie Lego? Welcome in. Good to see you today. How you doing? Munchie gifted a sub to Lord Chalky. Oh, I forgot to make a slingshot. Do I have to craft it? Or can I buy one? I think I have to craft it. Robo Cario with the 10 bit drop. What's up, baby? Thank you so much, Robo Cario. Thank you so much, Munchie, for the gifted sub. I hope you're doing well, baby. Good morning. Hope you had fun in the waste. I was having fun yesterday. That sandstone really helped me out, man. I should take a, I'll show you a screenshot of my new machines. I have this crazy, I have this crazy like 
I have this crazy blast furnace contraption with these freaking heating parameters on the sides of the machines. And then I have these crazy thorough ge geographical heating or power devices. And I have to put water on one side and the lava on the other side to produce power for my big machines. And I have like power lines running through my base. Like, it's crazy, dude. It's so cool, dude. It's actually nuts. I love the, I love the wasteland right now. Lady Sky with an 11 month resubscription bring it back for another excellent month of content good to see you here thank you so much i saw your achievements last night i can only imagine the setup it looks pretty cool it's cooler than anything i've ever done before i hope you're doing well lady sky welcome in that's the carrot the carrot is the variant of of the of the wink for the old people here me for this IMO, awkward, new Kappa. Yes, I'm an old net vet. <laughs> uh, the old days of the carrots and the and the winky faces. I'm not going to lie. I've been on the internet for a long time, but I think my brain has been brainwashed by Twitch. Now, like, I don't I don't use these types of emotes anymore. I'm not going to lie. Like, I the only one I use is, like, I use, like, the this face. But, like... Even Twitch turns it into a freaking face. Like, yeah, I'm not... I think the oldest Twitch... The oldest emote face that I still make nowadays is this one, I think. This one, this one, or this one. I think those are still the oldest ones that I use that, like, with like on Twitch without using, like... Yeah, like, I don't, I don't really use anymore. I'm trying to think, is there another one that I still use nowadays? Um... I think that's it. I really don't use many faces anymore like that. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one, Dazza. Welcome in, Dazza. Good to see you. What's up, Ace Mage? Good to see you as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the line faces. That's a favorite of mine. Or even better, I like line faces with a sweat dribble at the end. That's one of my favorites right there. Line faces with a sweat dribble. Just like, what did you just say to me? What did you just say to me? I love that Kirby became a real emote. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do I still have that that notepad up? Do I still have that notepad up? I don't. I have a notepad on my computer with the Kirby a string of Kirby dances for Twitch. I had this is actually a notepad I have on my computer for a string of Kirby dances. I have, the, I have that like, I have that like readily available. The amount of times I, I go to type uppercase L-U-L in either Discord or other type of DMs. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, you're talking about typing this outside of Twitch and just looking like this like kind of douchey all caps loller. You know what I mean? Like, like it's kind of funny because you kind of don't like if, if, if people don't know Twitch, they think you're just going LOL Like like instead like instead of saying LOL, like if they don't know Twitch, they think you're like screaming at them. LOL like, <laughs> That's so funny, dude. I catch myself doing that way or even better, like Keck W. Like Keck Wing outside of Twitch just makes you look like I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I, I feel like people get really put off by that. Like, just dropping Keck W's outside of Twitch, people are like, uh, what? Keck! <laughs> they feel like, I feel, I feel like people think they're getting cursed at. Like, I feel like people think they're getting cursed at when you all cap Keck's W someone outside of Twitch. I feel like they literally feel like they're being cursed at. Like, Keck what? Like, what did you say to me? <laughs> That's too much, dude. Quay, that one is timeless. Yes, yes, this one is timeless right here. I started with the long version of the sideways ones. Dude, the, the long version of the sideways ones are also detailed. It's like, it's like a bunch of freaking like... Yeah, they're all like super detailed with like dots and... I don't know, I know what you're talking about though, Chirp. Yeah. <laughs> I said Keck W to my dad once, and he was like, what did you say to me in my house? <laughs> What's up, such a lame-o, by the way? Welcome in. 
Imagine being a dad and your daughter's like, ha <laughs> Keck W. What'd you say to me? I'm still kind of new to Switch, but I, so I don't actually know what Keck W was. I can show you it. Do you, do you want to see it, Tofu? Have you ever seen Keck W? I can show you on my, on my screen real quick. You can see it on the chat at the bottom of the screen, by the way. Like, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little face when I, when I type Keck W. And that little face is what we're talking about. Oh, my, mine doesn't show up because I have myself erased out of the chat because I'm a bot. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's... I know it's hard to see on this. I can show you on another screen. Yeah, here, hold on. Let me show you on another screen. So this is actually what Keck W is. Look right above me. You see this? This is Keck W. So the way it works is you have to download a certain app to your to your browser that you watch the stream on. And if you if you if you install a certain app that I just linked right there, you'll see instead of words, you'll see this stuff. We have a lot of them. Like if somebody wants to share like some of our dancing dittos and stuff, we have like um what is it? So what is it? Squirtle Jam, one of them? What is it? Lower uppercase J? Yeah, Squirtle Jam. You'll see like a, a Squirtle sitting there dancing. So the way this works is that this is actually free emotes for you guys. So like you actually want to take advantage of BTTV if you if you haven't already. And I know not, not all of you are on your computer. Maybe some of you are on PC or on mobile and it's a lot harder to set it up on mobile. But you got to realize that we have over 100 free emotes to use in our channel and 50 free like like almost 100 free gif emotes almost 50 free regular emotes that anybody can use at any time without ever even thinking of a subscription and most of twitch works this way and most of twitch uses bttv so if you are interested look into this for your browser either chrome mozilla or whatever and like this is how you get access to a bunch of free stuff. It's cute, you know? It just makes your chat look a little bit better. So instead of you just reading giant words that say Keck W, you can actually see the emotes and interact a little bit better. So again, not everybody is going to be able to do this and not everyone's going to be into it. But I highly recommend if you're like newish to Twitch that you consider BTTV because it will only enhance your Twitch experience. And from my personal from my personal experience on Twitch, it only enhances your experience as a viewer if you can get yourself BTTV stuff. It's a lot of fun. It just makes Twitch even cooler than it already is. Welcome in, Breezy. Up to my personal tastes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that is a good combination, I agree. All right, all right, so what are we doing in our house again? Just sitting here listening to Dirge? Oh my gosh. Boom. Boom. Oh, we're here to craft a new slingshot, which I think requires hard, softwood? Hardwood. What's up, wife, wife of source? How are you? How you been? Good to see you. So once here, oh, I was gonna come over, Angela. I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna go wish on some stars at Angela's for a little bit. Your house, man. La mamen. La 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 ma My house is. I know it's it's a, it's like a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> Let me turn off the lights real quick, and turn on the street lights. Wait. So you guys are telling me. You guys are telling me that your house, your early game house doesn't look like this? You guys are telling me that your early game Animal Crossing houses don't look like this? Because like, this is like early game Animal Crossing house. You know, like th this is us vibing. This is just what we do. Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't have time for that. I'm a new Animal Crosser. I don't got time for decorating. I don't got time. I just dropped all this stuff in the house. We just got, look, we got stuff. We got boxes. We're still unpacking. We got random cinnamon. Well, we got a TV over here. We got my bag head from the tournament. Look at like, this is just my house. We got random beards. Look at like, 
Ba two butt rugs? I don't know what's up with the double butt rugs. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it, Chad. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the elephant picture, yes. Isn't that a cute picture? It's a cute photo for sure. Is that an eye patch on your wall? Yes, it was actually an eye patch, yes. All right, let me head over to Angela's. We're going to put on some vibes for a little bit while we head over to Angela's house. We're going to Angela's Island real quick. We're going to go we're going to go wish on some stars and vibe for a little bit. Do you want me to send you a song? I actually got KK Cruising in my inventory. I would love it if you sent me a song. If you don't need it, I would love it. Wait, what? That carpet? Yeah, it's from the new Sanrio collection, Arissa. It's called the Pom Pom Marinian outfit, I believe. Or rug, I mean. It might be the Kiro Kiro rug. Yeah, we just got that Wife Wifeosaurus. Wait, such a lame gifted a sub over to Wifeosaurus? Yo, bring it in, dude! lame thank you so much for the gifted sub, my dude! First ever gifted sub to the channel, Wifeosaurus. Welcome back. Another excellent month of content. Ellie Gamer with a follow and a Lamaman. Thanks for the follow as well. Like, what a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for taking care of the wife a source. Thank you, Nephys, for the follow as well. It's the Pomeranian. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right, let me jump over here and hide the screen a little bit. Let me just lean. Hey, guys. We're just going to lean and kind of hide that dodo code. Hey, guys. We're just going to hide that dodo. Good names get subs. True, actually. What's up, April? No. No. <laughs> so how's it going, shit? All right, hold on. Let me get this dodo. Cool. leans into the chat how you doing yeah i was like my head was literally in the chat <laughs> cj might startle you that's okay it's a risk we're willing to take time to dance is it time to dance are we feeling some dancing here we'll play a soft dance song a softer dance song You miss hearing my boy KK yesterday? Oh, that sucks. I've been looking for a while this morning. Walk with my dog, I couldn't really chat. The mention of bear cubs earlier, I wanted to say I really like Pudge. Pudge is actually one of my favorite bear cubs. I agree with that. Pudge is amazing, demon monkey. Gonna head out, we'll see you later, Wavy. Wavy, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a good day, have a good Sunday. Do, 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 do. This and Mute City are my favorite Mario Kart songs. Mute City's got it going on. Was there a Channel Point Redemption for Island Visits and Dream Addresses? Yeah, it'll be back on Sunday. Or Wednesday, sorry. The Channel Point Redemption will be back on Wednesday, Ellie Cat. So, so look for it there. Uh, 40,000 and I think 90,000 or 40,000 and 80,000 were the, were the, the prices. It'll be back Wednesday. Um, we took it off for this week because this week is, um, what the heck, dude? This week is 
our new island, so we took it off because we're not doing visits this week. The five pack in the chat from Tofu Nuggets. We got Jillian. We got a rapid Pono Lulu Bell, Airy, Bell, Airy Berry, and a K Jun. Welcome to the Deku Scrub Squad. If you just got gifted a sub, don't be shy to drop a thank you in the chat. I sure appreciate you for doing that, Tofu. I have extra star fragments for you on my other island, Lizzie. I'll mail you some, okay? I have. A, I can send you a, t a stack of 10 larges, I'm sure. Molly Mason, welcome in. Oh, wait, which Divine Beast did you do first, Molly Mason? You better spill the tea. Da -da -da -da. Wait, this actually makes sense because we're, we're wishing on stars. We're here to wish on stars. We're rainbow roading. This makes too much sense. Poncho was on your first starter island, and June is great because, you know, June... Who else is playing Breath of the Wild? Our friend Molly Mason. Our friend Molly Mason is. I just. Why is this song so long? I I, I, I forgot that this song is like an eight minute track, dude. <laughs> I forgot this song's like eight minutes long, dude. We're still going. We still got three more minutes left of this song. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. I'm burning down, I'm burning down. What's up, friend? Who's this blue faced kitty cat? Hello. Da -da -da. Yo, and hello. What? Look at these cuties. What the heck? Look at these cuties. Hello, friends. I have arrived! I have come to sit! Alright, I'm gonna walk around your island and show it off to the chat because your island's gorgeous. So for those that haven't seen Angela's Island, you are in for a treat right now. For those that have, yes, it's Moana themed. Yes, you already caught it. Welcome to the island of Tafiti. This is a Moana themed island. We're gonna walk around while we're while we're collecting stars, and we're gonna um. And we'll show it off a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want to stay here too long because I want to go back to listening to the early game music since it's our last day of listening to it but we'll be here for a little bit we're gonna poke around poke around a little bit mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. yo do you have celeste by chance what diy that makes those large stack stars fragment lamps um it's called the nova lamp it's called the the nova lamp i think Celeste is here? Nice. Maple's crafting a, a butt hat? I don't want that butt hat. I don't want that booty hat. You think I want that peach hat? You, you think I want that peach booty hat? Get that eye, get, what are you trying to do to me? Alto girl? Alto girl over here nudging me? Yeah, sure, why don't you come get this booty hat crafted? I'm sure you'll love it. You think I want that? You think I want to be walking around with the big old booty head? <laughs> Where's my peach at? Big old booty head. Mm-mm-mm. Peach on head or pre-recorded? <laughs> you are the butt streamer, though? What do you mean? What the heck? Am I known as the butt streamer in the Animal Crossing community? Oh, no. Is this my fate? Am I known as the butt streamer and you guys haven't told me? You guys just go around like, oh, you know that guy, Hylia, and he's the butt streamer. Oh, no. Am I just the butt streamer to everybody? What's up, Daily Dana? I don't want to be the buff daddy butt streamer. I don't want to, I don't want that to be my identity. There are worse things to be known as. True. 
It's always butts. <laughs> you started this, Alto Girl. You started this. Boom, boom. There you go. If you want to type it up in the chat, April, I'd appreciate you. I could type it, actually. What am I doing? I'm just sitting here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. To butt or not to butt? That is a Z question. I thought the title was Amiibo Eater. <laughs> You're quick with the numbers, yeah. I um I did management and I had to count money every day, so I use the numpad and I type numbers super super fast. I feel like an accountant when I type numbers. I just use the numpad and I just crawl over it. Don't blame chat for your love of butts. Is Anka a good islander? Yes. I think so. I think Anka's actually pretty awesome, in my opinion. What about you, chat? What do you think? Can we get a yay or a nay in the chat for Anka? A yay or a nay in the chat for Anka? What do you guys think? The title's Genji Eater. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yay or nay on Anka? I think Anka's pretty awesome, personally. Are you jamming? Whoa, dude! Whoa! This turned into the, the flute song quick, dude! This this turned in, you know this turned into the flute song real quick. That's all you guys get, sorry. <laughs> it's way too hype. <laughs> it's so hype, dude. It's so hype, dude. That song. <laughs> that's a that's a, a freaking alto girl went from like jamming out to playing the flute song. I'm like, whoa, alto girl, slow down. <laughs> curse thing keeps coming back coffee you were here since like the first time i showed that on stream that's so funny coffee's been cursed with that song and that video for two years she probably hates me that's okay <laughs> also girls wearing your dress wait did you make a dress or something wait is there something i missed dang it she's gone i want to check out the dress I was ready to play Rap God by Eminem. <laughs> you did on your old island. Ah. Legit just popped my... <laughs> Legit popped my head. Corporal looked at me like I was nuts. It's a good song. Oh, here. I'll link you the song. Here, sorry. <laughs> then he's spamming it to one long tone. Like that old meme, wait, Lamo, do you remember the meme with the guy pressing the buzzer and staring into the screen? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, I don't have to play it for you. I mean, here it is anyways. Dude, this is honestly a super creepy video. Uh, Kelsey Grammer. Not even close. Edgar Allan Poe. When did you get one right? Uh... And it just and it just proceeds, it just proceeds to go until it just proceeds to go until he starts staring into the screen, and it gets so. <laughs> I love his face. He's just smiling at everybody. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It just doesn't stop. Dude, calm down. No, I don't want more. You know what that makes me think of? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Um, Chris with a teacup. Now, this is super funny. This is something I've known for for 10 years. 13 years ago, somebody put up the first ever living photograph on YouTube. I present to you Chris with a teacup. 13 years ago, 13 years ago, somebody put up the first ever living photograph on YouTube. I present to you Chris with a teacup. And Beatles is convinced that this is my long lost twin. Beatles is convinced that this is just me like in another universe. He's like, he's so convinced that this is like my long lost brother. He's like, dude, it looks just like you, dude. What is a living photo? It's this. This is a photo, but it's also a video, but it's also a photo. It's a living photo. It's a living portrait, living photograph. So Beatles is convinced this is me from another universe. Somebody actually made a reply to Chris with a teacup 10 years, three years later, Mike with a teacup did the same thing. I, I've Beatles wants me to do Josh with the teacup. So because this guy right here, Chris, and then there's Mike with the teacup, Beatles wants me to make a reply that's high, Josh with the teacup. Beatles has been trying to talk me into making Josh with the teacup living photo for like five years of my life now. He's been trying so hard to get me to do Josh with the teacup. Yeah, I'd have to be shirtless and everything. Yeah. He's been trying to get me to do it for so long, dude. And, 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 why don't you? I don't know. It's weird, man. It's, I don't know. It's weird, dude. <laughs> Target has an ad available Friday, 326, 8 a.m., the exclusive Animal Crossing Sanrio collection pack, amiibo cards with order pickup and drive up only. Limit two per guest. Wait, did you guys hear that? Hold on. Welcome in, Britty Machine. Welcome in, Jubilee. Animal Crossers. It just got confirmed that they're not going to let people overdo the amiibo cards. Yeah, you get only get two packs per guest. Every pack has all of the cards in them. This is a good thing. So if you don't know, every pack has all six cards in them. You don't have to buy multiple packs. So you only have to buy one pack to get all six Sanrio cards. They all Every pack has all six in one pack now. Nintendo made it super easy for us. So they're limiting it to two per guest so people so they don't get scalped. This, is just, this just saved the scalping situation. This is very good news. That's very good news. We're only going to have to buy one or two. Like, I can only buy two for, like, an extra for you guys, but they can't get delivered to our house? I guess not. Maybe that's why, maybe that's how they're stopping scalpers, because, like, the bots would have it delivered to their house, right? Maybe that's part of the, maybe that's, like, part of the, the scalper defense. So I'm going to be buying... Um, a bunch of, I'm going to try to buy extra packs. I'm going to try to buy like two myself and then maybe get beetles to buy two. So I'll have extras to mail to you guys if you're willing to pay for the shipping. So if you guys are going to miss out, if you don't have a target around you, then I should be able to help out a couple people. but the stores will also go by the two packs per. Right, right. You don't have a Target near you? I don't know if any other retailers are selling them in the States. To be honest, I'm pretty sure only Target is selling them in the States. I think it's Target exclusive in America. In Canada, it's like, I've seen them at Best Buy. In Australia, it's EB Games. In America, it's Target, I think. Yeah, no GameStop. I think Target's got some kind of deal with Nintendo this time around. So, sending pictures to Tangy. <laughs> so, if we get more information, if we get if we get more information, we will pass it your way, Ch Chad. Thank you so much for dropping that. Thank you so much for dropping that info, Alley Cat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jubilee. Good morning. I hope you're well today, Jubilee.
I don't have a car. I have to rely on home delivery. Yeah, I'm the same way, dude. I live in the country and I don't have a car. So I'm going to have to have somebody take me up there because I don't know what else to do. Um, I, I was planning on ordering them online, so I'm a little thrown off by that. But kind of weird, kind of weird they would stop it from online. I guess because you can't fake your identity as well. I think that the online thing is literally to stop scalpers. This is this is what we have to do to stop scalpers. This is how brutal scalping has gotten. You know what I mean? Like, that sucks. That sucks that this is how brutal scalping has gotten, that we have to do this kind of stuff. We can't just go, we can't just order online. Like, that's kind of frustrating, you know? Um, Do we know when? Yes, March 26th. So, five days from now. So, um, Friday, I think. Thursday or Friday. You hate it here? <laughs> Magical made just the worst, dude. So yeah, I'm going to try to get some extras for you guys Friday. Thank you. What's up? I'm a damn unicorn. How you been? Yeah, we're going to try to do it. on. We're going to try to get some extras for everybody, Chad. I'm going to try as hard as I can to get Beatles to buy some. I'll buy some. Maybe his dad can buy two packs. We could all go into the store separately. Because like, I, I really want to try to get extras for you guys. This freaking peach hat. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, it sucks, Uncle Natsu. It's really frustrating. I, I, you're not the only one. I can definitely share in the frustration. At least we got some good laughs today. <laughs> Dude, the, the, the flute song is so funny. I love that video. It's so freaking quirky. So we have to order them the day of. Yes, and you have to order them for pickup. You have to order them for pickup on the day of. Um, I was about to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to check and see who's here. Angela, Sarah, and Kitty, and Miss Linny. Nice. How much are they again? In America, they're like $5.99 or like $8.99. Really cheap. Well, not really cheap, but you know, cheap. Once I download the files, I'll be able to make new amiibos for anybody interested. I tried downloading the files the other day. You couldn't get them. Yeah, Sylvia, I mean, like, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool if we could maybe set up a little thing, help people out. It'd be cool. I had to stream on mute while you fellows were drinking tea on stream, and I was just like, <laughs> cozy, welcome back. Uh, we just found out that the Sanrio cards in America are going to be only able to order for pickup or the, for drive through pickup and you can only order two packs per per person in, in the targets i think you're stateside so figured i'd tell you thanks for the stream yo see you later black pearl have a great day hope you guys enjoyed the shenanigans <laughs> shamrock pixels welcome in by the way good to see you today i don't want them yeah i don't really want them either i want the sand real cards just for the items I don't want the actual villagers, really. I want the items. Yo, look at look at Julian just walking up to me all cute. Nice to meet you. I'm Count Julian Adu Atefiti. Just kidding. That's your favorite spot? Yeah, I love this spot. A question for the Aussies. Do crocodiles swim in the city sometimes? Yeah, that even happens in, in Florida sometimes. It actually happens in Florida and America sometimes. I'm pretty sure crocodiles and alligators get, get like caught up into the city sometimes. What's up, Lady Penny? How are you, friend? I can help you with the items. Oh, thank you, Lady Penny. Um, I'm not like in a rush to get them, but I'll take you up on that in the future. Do you have to pre-purchase them? I don't think you can pre-purchase them. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think you can pre-purchase them. I think you have to purchase them when you when you pick them up. I don't think you can. The way the way they're making it sound is like there's gonna be no pre-orders or anything like that. Like you, you just have to you have to buy them. Because they're trying to stop the scalpers and the bots. So I think you can just do the latter. Would you like to get at least one Sanrio villager? I would like Marty or Chai. Yeah. 
If I picked one. Marty or Chai. Oh, there's Celeste. Nice. I found Celeste in the top um, left of the island. I found Celeste in the top left of the island. If anybody's interested here. Go give me that DIY, babe. Mm -mm. I came here to examine the night sky at Blether's suggestion, but the night sky on this island is just so stunning, I'm simply gobsmacked by its beauty. What's more, signs suggest that tonight will be a meteor shower. What a lovely coincidence. She's cute. I found resellers on eBay, but I'm scared it's a scam. I would I would definitely be I would definitely be careful. Is that the elephant or the deer? Um, Chai is the elephant. Marty's the bear cub. The deer's name is Chelsea. Chelsea the Chelsea the deer. She's cute. I think it's Chelsea, right, Chai? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Amiibo coins off Etsy, they work great. Yeah, I think they work really well. I think they work really well. I know um, Sylvia has used them. I know some of the community has used them. Yeah, those are little Amiibo cards. Um, are those like custom Amiibo coins and Amiibo cards and stuff are pretty good. And you can get stuff for a lot cheaper. That's like the big deal. It's like, if you don't want to... If you don't really care about having a collectible, if you don't really care about having the collectible amiibo cards, you could just probably get your own, like get custom ones from Etsy. They're pretty cheap. But like some people are collectors, so like that might not be the best, you know? All right, I'm gonna get back to my island now. Thank you for having me over for a couple stars, Angela. It was beautiful. It was beautiful, beautiful island. I got some stars on my new character. Very awesome. Thanks for having me over. Go ahead and head back. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Thanks for the follow, Flava Dave. No problem. Thanks for coming. Got a cute pick, too. Nice. All right, we're going to head back over to our own island and finish up what we are doing as far as our dailies go. We're grinding out our dailies here. We got, um,. We did all of our rocks. We were shaking trees. We got to finish shaking trees. You have the coin ones. I like that my kid can't destroy these ones. Yeah, the coin ones look nice. I might even order a little set of like cute little coin ones or something. I found coins on Etsy. Is Etsy good to get amiibo coins from? Yeah. Um, could anybody maybe recommend a seller? Is there anybody who could maybe recommend an Etsy amiibo card? seller for the chat so that people aren't going in completely blind maybe recommend a page you can link if you would like just so we're like so like we have something to work with because if you've ordered if you've ordered custom amiibos and you've gotten them and they came back and they pay they came quick and and they came pretty good then it's not etsy it's on ebay but it was like 350 euros or something each yeah if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a link or two we could help out the chat if they're looking for cheap ways to get so um they're custom amiibos silvers um custom amiibo cards that people make or they make like they put it in like a little coin like a little plastic case or something just like just custom amiibo stuff wish we could have more than 10 villagers on our island i agree with that shamrock i agree i think i think it would be nice if we had access to more villagers mm -mm. mira's magic and co is on etsy's where you got yours thank you neapolitan thank you I hope you're doing well today, Mags. Good to see you. Hope you and the little ones are right. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Sylvia, for the link. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Because I've never ordered this stuff myself. I probably wouldn't unless I was supporting a member of our community, to be honest. If I wasn't supporting, like, a sh one of our artists here, I probably wouldn't buy them. These aren't coins, so they're more expensive, but they're from Elysium by Design. Hey. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you, everyone who's, who's sharing a couple links here. Mm, 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 mm. This is your favorite shop, Amazing Seller. 
Bold City Creations. I can recommend a good Etsy seller, but their cards are very stylized. The black astron astronomy themed ones are my villager portraits on it. Oh, that's nice. Pumpkin Days, that's beautiful. Pumpkin Days, by the way, hello. I didn't give you an official hello today. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Wow. Week, week one singing? What's up, Pagoda? Week one, week one singing? <laughs> she got distracted. I forgot about that original song that they sing. I forgot about like that song that they sing at the beginning of the game. Cause like I don't have any radios playing in the game, so they just sing that default song. Do 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 I wonder what song that is that they're singing. I don't know. I don't know what they sing. Yeah, I don't know what that's I was I was just thinking that um pop. Do 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 Boo, 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 boo. I don't know, but I heard it a lot because I didn't put. Because I'll be I'll be one hundred percent honest. I did I didn't put a radio on my island. I didn't put a radio on my island early at all. So I heard that song for like the first six months of the game. It's like I wasn't willing to put a radio on my island really, like the first three months. But they sing the island song? Yeah, I'm not sure. What's up, Neanderthal? How you living, baby? What's up, Karen? Good to see you. Hey, how are you doing, Foxtrot? Let's talk. Did you know the moon is about 200... 200,000... 30... 200,035... Why, why am I so... Just completely thrown off by her beautiful eyes. Look at Audie's eyes. I couldn't even contemplate words. I don't think I've ever noticed that Audie has like very, very turquoise eyes. Audie might be a new favorite villager of mine. Holy heck, dude. I've never noticed her eyes. Audie's actually gorgeous. Not to be annoying, my name's Karina. That's okay. I'm, I'm always messing up people's names, so it's not annoying for you to correct yourself. I, I would rather... I would rather you tell me how to pronounce your name than than me pronounce it wrong. I actually appreciate you doing that. Not annoying even a little bit. Karina, I'll try to get it right. Playing on a new island, Neanderthal? Nice. Do you plan to time travel or are you going to just vibe? Audie is based on the grandma that plays Animal Crossing, if memory serves. Yes. Yes, they made her character off of the grandma that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Ed Mangos? What, how you doing, Ed? I switched up my bit-tier emotes, Ed, so you can enjoy that bit-tier emote. Um, for the 1,000, it's the rage, the tangy rage. Enjoy it. We just mixed them up. Not sure yet, just vibing for now. Nice. Um, this character right here, there's a grandmother on YouTube that played Animal Crossing New Leaf, and she's like a hundred bajillion years old, and, um, Animal Crossing made a character based off of her, and it's this character right here, Audie. So, the 80, the 87 year old grandma Animal Crossing person. There's a link right there for those that haven't seen it. This is her showing off her Animal Crossing town. And she checks out the New Horizons trailer and stuff. I randomly stumbled across this really trash YouTube video. Animal Crossing is for babies. Adults need to stop playing Animal Crossing right now. 
we're facing a pandemic and you guys are just waddling around in diapers and playing Animal Crossing. What is people people not everyone should be able to be allowed to make YouTube videos. <laughs> like I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but not everyone should be allowed to use YouTube as a platform. <laughs> Some people should just be cut off out of pure stupidity. Out of pure ignorance, you should just be cut off of the internet. Some people literally just should not be should not be on the internet ever. <laughs> Her name is Audrey. The old lady's real name is Audrey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Audrey so Audi. It's super cute, right? Uh, I'm going to walk around the Hyrule Shore until I've walked that far. Just call me the Moon Wolf. Cute. I've actually never seen that interaction. Just call me the Moon Wolf? I wonder if Audi has, like... I wonder if some characters... I don't know. I've just never interacted with Audi. She's a peppy, right? I've never seen a character I... Like... I haven't seen many characters call themselves out for the animal that they are. Like, it's actually kind of weird. Like, rarely do you have, like, hamster go, like, I'm just a tough hamster. And, like, she just called herself a moon wolf. I feel like that's a unique interaction. Am I the only one? I haven't had, like, many villagers call themselves out as the animal that they are. Like, oh, yeah, just call me, just call me the, the moon horse. Like, I've, I haven't really had many of those interactions. Is that a peppy thing? Are we, is that a peppy thing? Okay, it sounds like a, every villager that you guys brought up is peppy. Yeah, it's a it seems like a peppy conversation. See, I only have had Tangy on my island, and Tangy's never said that. She must be the other peppy. You know how there's a peppy A and a peppy B? Tangy must be a separate peppy than Audie, because I've never seen that conversation, and you all know I talk to Tangy every day. So it's kind of a, that's a, definitely a, a unique thing. Mm -mm. The normals say you made me a happy elephant. Okay, so they do it more than I thought. What's up, Millennium? Welcome in. What's up, Tippid? How you doing today, Tippid? Um, we restarted our. We had a second island. We had we had a second island, and we we uh restarted on the second one. My main island's still here. What's up, Rock Socks? There's more than one Peppy. Yeah. So every every archetype has A and B. Every personality has A and B. Let me see if I can pull up the link for you guys. Hold on. It's it's pretty old information. I gotta dig it up. Um It's pretty old information. I gotta dig it up. I gotta see if I can. So I can't find the link, but the way it works is every every personality so there's lazy and then there's lazy a and then lazy b so then there's there's cranky cranky a and cranky b and they all split slightly so every lazy is going to have some conversations that are always the same i'm a lazy villager and i talk about this blank thing right but then lazy a might branch into talking about food more Lazy B might talk about bugs more. So the same thing for Peppy. You know, maybe Peppy A might talk about being a pop star more. Peppy B might talk about being fabulous more. And there's like subtle personality differences in the game that make the game more unique. So not every villager is an exact clone of every villager. They have a lot of subtle differences to them. Which what makes this game so amazing. So here is the paper right here. Thank you, Ubis. So like, if you look right here, as far as we know, um, NPC ty talk type. All right. So the dialogue consists of mostly stories the villager can tell, and all accounts for a very small portion of their dialogue. So this is you're not gonna not every you're not gonna always notice the differences when you're when you're like some villagers just always seem the same, which is fine. So let me show you guys right here. What do villagers with the same subtype have in common? One thing that many villagers have um, of the same subtype have in common are hobbies. So like a lazy A is nature, but a lazy B is like about playing. But a jock A is about playing, but a jock B is all about fitness as their hobby. Cranky A is all about nature, 
Cranky B is all about education or music. And it just breaks down all the way. It breaks down all the way. Another type of subtype that have in common is their social level, which can affect things like how they wave. So Cranky's, a Cranky A will wave back to you almost all the time and say hello to you, but a Cranky B might ignore you like that kind of stuff. And it breaks down even further. What is the unique dialogue in each subtype? Because of how time consuming this is to transcribe all the text, I'm gonna refer you to this website. Um, to access the subtype dialogue, follow these steps. And you can figure out like the actual dialogue, which we're not here to do that. We're just here to talk about it. Which villagers have these subtypes? So right here, you have Cranky B. Angus, Apollo, Avery, Butch, Camel Frog. You can tell Cranky A is a way shorter list. So some of the Crankies are a lot more unique than the rest of them. If you get a Cranky Doby, Doby is a unique Cranky technically because he's an A compared to the vast C of Bs. Same thing happens down here. Jock Bs are common. Jock As are kind of uncommon. So um, an example of an uncommon jock A for you is, co is coach or boots or Hamlet. This is why Hamlet is different than my other two jocks on my island. Hamlet is a little bit different than Ribut and Genji and I've noticed that and that's why. And you keep going, here's our lazies. The lazies are a little bit more overlapping. There's a lot more a lazy A's than there are with the rest of the A's it seems. So you have all the lazy A's here versus the lazy bees and then you go down here to normal a versus normal b a lot less normal a's versus b's peppies a ton less peppy a's than peppy b's a ton less so peppies feel super unique in the game because of this and then smug look at this smug has the best list of all smug there's only five smug bees and raymond's one of them every other smug villager is pretty much a clone of each other every other one pretty much a clone and then you have the snooties they're pretty common as well uchis again with the uchis only four b uchis sylvia's one of them rocket's one of them most of the uchis are, are a and you can get more information and stuff like this. Um, but yeah, Ubi's just shared the link in the chat. There you guys go. There's a bunch of knowledge for you on how personalities work in Animal Crossing. Is this in the Discord? Um, we can post it in the Discord. But yeah, the link was posted in the chat right here. I'll post it again for you. Um, there might be like a whole community. Just dig through this post. Just dig through this post and, and you'll find... A lot more stuff like there's a lot more there's a bunch of more doc i only showed you guys the most basic document there's a lot more documents that you can dig through if you go take out that link so i started a new island i'm thinking of bringing back my bunny island pepper please do friend that would be amazing <laughs> i would love to see it happy to have raymond he came on his own feet as my eighth villager nice that's actually super cool you got did he get a random fill in with raymond Mm, 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 mm. The amount of undisturbed sleep I'm getting right now is suspicious. I'm going to keep looking at my door in case he burst in. <laughs> Candy Moon. Actually true though. <laughs> Cuz we haven't played we haven't played our new our other island too much. You were thinking about doing bears and cubs on your island? There's a lot of really good bears and cubs. I think you could do an awesome island on that theme. Um I think the top amount of villagers in within a given species is cats, bunnies, frogs. I, I don't remember. I think the top three is like cats, bunnies, dogs. Maybe it's dogs. So yeah, you get a lot of choices if you choose one of those. Bears, bears and bear cubs. There's a lot of each of those, like, especially if you combine those. Especially if you combine those. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta get rid of this fugly duck. 
<laughs> What's up, Chairman Caleb? 12 elephants? Yeah, that's not too bad. How are you finding limited storage? It's terrible. My house looks like a nightmare because of it. Because I just had to start dropping stuff in my house because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's so tough, dude. I'm so used to having so much more storage. He's not like most smugs. I agree with that. I think Raymond is found to be more unique because of that, yeah. Does anybody ma want Marina? Tofu Nugget's getting rid of a Marina today. Somebody lucky, take her home. I miss when the NPCs walked around, me too. We were just talking about that yesterday. Like, would it be nice? There's my item. Would it be nice if they like, still walked around every once in a while like late night isabel went to the beach like like they should do that they should do that. it would just be such a cool thing to do like i hope that, that we get that one day that's i'm kind of reaching with that hope but one day and sorry if i'm missing any messages chat i'm a little distracted so you can always do an at hyrule gaming group you can always highlight your message you can always repost don't ever be shy um It would be cool if like an hour a day they walked around if you really needed them you could bug them a lot right right that'd be cool you went on a villager hunt angel marie and the first three tickets you found raymond judy mary whoa did you take any of them home what the heck how could you pass up that lineup what's up fi fi nova welcome in um if you're trying to look to see who my villagers are here we have um frobert we have cat we have chester Celia and Audie. Mm, 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 mm. No boops. No boops. <laughs> Boop 3,600. 3,600 too many. When do you get the campsite? Tomorrow. So resident services is upgrading on day six for me. I think it could be day five. For some people, depending on... Like, I skipped the day. I think it has to be day six. So, resident services is, is going to upgrade on day six, Obies. If you do everything you, you should do. And then day seven, when resident services is, is completely maxed out. Then you get the option of... You talk to Tom Nook and he starts about his new plan to get KK Slider here. And then you get the campsite. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to build the campsite, like, fencing thing tomorrow which means tuesday the campsite will be here which means wednesday we'll get our first campsite villager i think that's the flow because i don't think you get your your first campsite villager right away so i'm pretty sure by wednesday we'll have our first campsite villager once we invite the campsite villager we can actually start going on regular villager hunts and we can get our terraforming no hd kappas what the heck i got acnh and my, and my switch in October. This is my first spring or summer. Oh, Miss Lindy, you have a lot to look forward to. Guess what I'm getting with my stimmy? What are you going to get, Jubes? What are you going to get, Jubes? Who are you hoping for in your campsite? I have no actual particular... I have no actual, like, particular person I'd want. I'm actually... Okay. I want to get someone new. I want to get a smug I've never had before. If you do a villager hunt now, the hunted ones will show up during this three villager period. That's how you got Piper. Right. Right. We actually did that. We hunted for Audi. And we hunted for Celia. So those two came. And then we... Chester was an autofill. We let Chester autofill. Just for, like, fun. You're hoping for a kid or something new? If I get Huck, I'm going to throw my island into the sea. <laughs> You're going to throw him off my island into the sea.
um sylvia sure let's talk about that in a discord dm we can maybe do something pretty cool for the community that sounds awesome you're gonna get a switch in animal crossing jubilee one of us one of us what's up chasing tulips you like shep shep's a cutie i had rodney he'd be ugly um i don't know i don't know if i have a favorite smug villager who's a favorite smug villager of mine kyle kyle the hyena dog the wild dog he was cool who else who else who's my favorite smug villager sid is sid smug i'd, I'd like smug i'd like sid You have 104k points. Oh my gosh, Jubilee. Lobo smug? I don't know. I think all the wolves are cranky, right? <laughs> I feel like all the wolves are cranky. I think they're all cranky, but like Audi and like another one. No, Audi's a fox, technically. I think I think all the male wolves are cranky except for one of them. Oh no, yeah, you're okay, Miss Linny. You're okay. Hey, hey, you're fine. Uh, Lobo comes off very smug. Lobo comes off very, very smug. I could see the, the, the resemblance. Kyle's the smug, yeah, yeah. Most most of the most of the wolves are, are the same for some reason. Like they're like people make complaints about how they're all people complain about how all the wolves are cranky sometimes. Is Pearl smug? Pearl would be snooty, I think, yes. Which is the female version of Smug. So you're you're still right. Yeah. The female version of Smug is Snooty, and I believe Pearl is Snooty. The Smug female. Oh, we got our fifth piece of gold. We can go craft our helmet. Let's go do that. I'm... I have mostly wolves and male wolves are mostly cranky old man types, right? All right. Um gold nuggies. Gold nuggies. There it is. There it is. The King Tut mask has been crafted. <laughs> How many villagers are there? Like roughly two, 400. Like roughly 400 villagers. I love the sound effect. Can I put it on again? Hold on. The sound effect is so good. It's like something off of Boderham's soundboard. <laughs> Good to see you ordered yourself a butt, a, a pair of butthole rugs. <laughs> What's up, Debster? How you doing, baby? What's up, Alt 075? Welcome in. Good to see you. Ow. Not nice. I forgot I can't run. All right, let's, um gracefully walk to the shop gracefully walk to the shop yeah we restarted the community island alt 075 who's dell dell is a crocodile um villager oh thank you you beat me to it here's dell we'll pull up dell together here's your boy dell some say he's the last robot there's only three robots in the game, people say, and he's one of them. Um, Sprocket's obviously a robot. Ribot's obviously a robot. People say he is the third robot. I don't agree, but he's stylized after a Japanese battleship. I don't think he's a robot, though. Just because he is stylized after a Japanese body ship and has these holes on his face, I really don't think he's a robot. I, I really don't think so. I don't know, though. Deltron, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he is a robot. Maybe I'm wrong. He's not a robot, he's a weapon! He's a transformer? <laughs> he's a battleship, yeah. Ah, oh, oof. You just leave an imprint in the sand? <laughs> I have to stop being so excited. This mask like forces you to slow down your gameplay, right? Just like forces you to slow down your gameplay. Badoom boom. Clumsy descent. I PM'd you in the Discord. Thank you, thank you. I'll try to get back to you soon. I'm like really, really bad about that stuff right now. But I'll try to get to you. I've been finding the motivation slowly but surely to be a human. I'm I'm so behind on stuff. It's tough. I just have to suck it up and just do it. What I really need to do is like hit the reset button and take like another day off. That's what needs to happen. I need another day off because Friday was nice, but I just rested Friday. So if I just take another day off, maybe Tuesday, I could maybe be an adult and do adult stuff. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So I might just have to take another day off because if I don't, I don't get stuff done if I don't take days off. I don't know about you, Chet, but I'm the kind of person that if, if I have a day off, if I don't have a day off, I don't do like anything extra. Like my point is like the days that I work, I, I don't want to do anything but work and then like come home and relax, right? So like for streaming, it's the same thing. Like the days that I stream, especially twice a day, I don't want to do anything in between streams but relax. And I don't want to do anything after stream except for relax. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like it, it's hard. Like days off are the only time I can be productive. I've been dealing with that ever since I was working, you know, every job I've ever worked. Like days, days that I have to work, I don't like doing anything but just like, Mentally preparing for work. Don't you have to give the bagworm to the museum? No, I already gave him one. One for being a potato, one for getting that stuff done. Yeah, so like this week I only gave myself one day off. So I only got the potato day, exactly. And I didn't get the do stuff day. I know, that's why I'm like stressing slightly. Like I have so much stuff to do, but like I didn't give myself the like day off. Will you be streaming tonight? Yes, hell yes. We're doing wastelands tonight. Honestly, part of me wants to start Wastelands right now, but I'm going to go take a break and come back tonight instead. So, yeah, we'll be back tonight with my Minecraft Wastelands, like a guarantee. The, tonight's the first night we're going to be streaming it um, after we did the little showcasing of it last Wednesday. So, And tonight, tomorrow night, and Tuesday night, we're going to do Wasteland three days in a row, and then we'll see what happens after that, because we have a new game coming out and stuff. So, yeah, Wastelands tonight. I'm, I'm really excited to be doing some Wastelands on stream. Like I said, I, I'm in the mood to play it right now, but I, I want to take a break. I think I think I'll take a break instead of streaming all day. It is Sunday. I don't know, April. I'm kind of feeling it out right now. To be 100% honest, I'm literally just going until I'm like bored. Like I can never get bored on stream. Like I don't get bored streaming, but I get bored playing Animal Crossing sometimes because I play it so much. So today I'm literally just streaming until my body's like, yeah, dude, I want to do something else. <laughs> and then I'll probably just take a break. Want me to come and vibe on your island as the noobs that we are? Yeah, sure, I'll open up. Mm, 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 mm. My bestie from Canada made me poutine Friday. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Boop, 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 boop. What's the Wastelands for game? I don't know that game. Oh, the Wastelands is a Minecraft a mod that we made, right? So it's Minecraft, but it's modded so heavily and changed up so much that it's a separate video game, essentially, called The Wastelands. It's cool. Can't see the night times, obviously, but I hope you have a wonderful stream. Yo, thank you, Chirp, yeah. Yeah, I know the night streams aren't accessible to everybody, and I, I do, you know, I do consider that. I do consider that, so. Oh, oof. Did I hear party on Hylian's Island? Yeah, but I'll have to do a Dodo code or it'll get too crazy. If I don't do a dodo coding, it's going to get too crazy. <laughs> so we, we have to do a dodo. Mm -mm 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 
I want visitors. It's raining, so fish food off the pier, yeah. Coelacanth is an ocean fish. Coelacanth is an ocean fish in the rain. And that's all day, I think. I think it's ocean fish in the rain all day. Can anybody look at their games and confirm? I think it's ocean fish all day in the rain. So you should just be able to keep trying. Yo, Sleepy, thank you for the follow. I'm feeling you today. What's up, Hangry Heather? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Hangry Heather, I love your name. Confirm. Thank you. Thank you, Chirp. Thank you so much, April. Yeah. I wasn't all the way sure, but invite via Dodo code. Um, the more, the merrier. Just so you know, this method you might end up having people on your island you don't know. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Your fever broke? A. Okay, cool. And then if any mods, and if any mods want to come over, you guys are cool. I'll just leave it to mods and the two people that I got. Otherwise, we're just going to chill. What's up, Casper? I'm sorry I'm so tired today, chat. I'm the worst content creator. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go back over here. Holy heck, dude. I've been, I was up all night, I'm a dork. All right, let's go. Yeah, come on over, April, Pandy, and any mods can pop over if you guys want. Just let me know, mod team. And I'm sure you guys are just relaxing. My island's getting so well. It's like a baby, aw. All right, here, hold on, let's, um, Let's throw on some tunage real quick. Some Sunday Lo-Fi Leah. And I'm gonna stretch my body out and go grab myself a, co a quick cookie. I don't wanna, I don't wanna invite like too many people today, if that makes sense. If, if I can't, I can't play favorites too much. I can't play favorites too much. Yeah, we're just like doing a little vibe session. <laughs> oh, you can come take money if you guys want. You guys, if you guys want to come take these last bags of bells or these fossils, you guys can have them. Yeah, so I, I don't, I don't, I rarely play favorites. I rarely play favorites, so it just does, it just makes me uncomfortable. I try to be a super fair human, so I'm playing a little bit of favorites today, but I'm not going to go too much further with it. So sorry, demon. We'll get you next time, though. We'll be playing online all the time. We'll see you later, Lily Tazi. What's up, Casper Lint? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. What's up, Eddie's pepperoni? Oh, hey, yeah, Ubi's. I don't need anything from you. Um, I was just saying, if the mods want to fly over, they can. Like, if you guys just want to fly over and vibe, you're welcome to. Because I wasn't opening my gates officially. I was just opening it to April and mods. And Panaberry is basically a moderator. Honestly, we should probably just give you your mod back so I can take that VIP badge back. Because <laughs> I'm lacking on VIP badges. <laughs> I haven't been to your island since 1992. Uh, Poistar, I wasn't playing this game in 1992. <laughs> uh, I think you got me mistaken with the other guy. Are you sitting in the bell bag? Are you sitting in the in the bell bag? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that's the, what's one reason to make someone a mod yeah dude you gotta get those vip badges back panberry's the only reason panberry's not even a mod is because i specifically asked panberry to take a break from modding because i was like i wanted her to actually enjoy my content and i felt like when you mod it's hard to enjoy the content like that honestly that's it my, Panberry has been a community leader with Hyrule and one of my best friends on on Twitch and on Discord for like three years now. So yeah, I, I just we sat down and I talked and I had a moment and after the moment passed, I was like, why don't we just keep you here for now and enjoy my content for a little bit? But like, there's still a mod in my heart. 
I'm just like slowly but surely adding people to the mod team that I feel like make a really good fit and the time slot fits and mods can still enjoy the content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a personal thing between her and I. It had nothing to do with her being a mod. It was like a personal thing. Yeah, I know mods can still enjoy the content, but modding is not fun. I don't care what you say, modding is like not necessarily fun as far as watching Twitch goes. Like, yes, you can still enjoy the content as a mod, but being an active moderator is not fun. It's not a fun thing. Sure, some people might like it and think it's fun, but in my opinion, modding is not fun. Modding changes the whole experience of you watching the stream. You go from being a viewer and enjoying the content as a viewer to stressing the whole time about everything that's going on. It completely changes the way that you watch a stream and in my opinion, it changes it into a less fun degree. Just my opinion. So it's like, I, I, I really stress that. Like, just taking up, like, a mod sword is great and fun. But, like, it can really change how you watch a stream and how you enjoy in a stream environment. It just changes the whole thing for you. It, it really does. So, like, yeah, sure, you could definitely enjoy modding. But I feel like being a viewer of a stream and being a mod are completely different things. Modding is fun, it's another experience, but sometimes it kicks your anxiety really hard. Most people see it as a VIP club, but it's more like everyone is stressing out in an escape room. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I meant. I, I, I was using I wasn't using my big my big boy words and I kept saying it's not fun, it's not fun. That's not what I meant. Because I think you can enjoy modding and it can be really fun. If you're the type of person that really enjoys supporting a community, I think it can be a blast. But it's not about it being fun or not fun. It's just about it not being the same experience a as a viewer. That's what it's about. And I stress about that. You, I'm, Breezy, of all people, you know that I stress about that. About the fact that you don't have the same experience as a moder moderator as a, as a viewer. And you might not agree with that, but I know we and you and I have had those talks before where like I've, I've expressed my opinion towards that. So yeah, I just have like a personal philosophy on how modding works on Twitch and how it kind of changes up how you interact with with the stream mm -mm 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 -mm. yo what's up jude fruit bonjour a oh, bonjour a oh, bonjour we have our own opinions on things yeah exactly yeah I, I don't expect people to agree with me i could imagine doing it but only for special channels i enjoy just being a consumer yeah i i think that we all have our own approach you know what i mean I think we all have our own uh, our own ways to enjoy Twitch. I um more than once in the past I've had moderators step back down and say I actually was enjoying your stream less. Like two or three times I've had mods step down like your stream was great. I enjoyed modding, but it wasn't quite for me. And I would rather just be a viewer and relax. I don't want all that extra pressure. And I was like, yo, that makes 100% sense. And I gave them back their VIP badge, you know? So like, at the end of the day, I know that I'm not the only one that feels that way, but it's definitely just my opinion. I'm on two channels and never thought I would get I would get there. I enjoy helping and supporting those channels very much. Princess Sherubington. You've been here for a long time, Miss Shruby. So. I appreciate you for everything that you do for us, with or without a sword, you know? You like to be there for him? You, you get you get like a lot of, you get a lot out of helping Breezy. That makes sense. I can see it's, it's very fulfilling, huh? Like it's very, 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 um, it's very, very, very fulfilling when, when you like, When you see a streamer that needs the help and you want to help them and you want to be there for them, I think it's a very fulfilling feeling. Fulfilling feeling? When you know you're being talked about? I actually wasn't thinking about you specifically. That's really funny that you say that. <laughs> I was thinking about um, way early back in the day, I approached a good friend of the, of the community, Katari, and they said they were, they'd rather stay a viewer. Um, then our friend Rogue Gerb stepped down in the past. Rogue Gerby Gerb. Um, she was a mod for a while. She's one of my first viewers. And she was a mod. And then I was thinking of, of Rosie Poo. It's funny that you say that, though. <laughs> yeah, April. April also reached out to me and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's even more than I'm thinking of. Yeah. Can you visit my island? Um, Not today, friend. How you doing today, Luca Twitch? Welcome in. 
I'm not doing any visits today, but we are going to be doing visits on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we will be back to doing visits again. Yeah, Pepper, I almost prefer that. To be 100% honest, I don't like having competing mods anyways. Like, that's just a personal thing. I, I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't not, like, pull a mod on the team f because of that specifically. But if I can avoid having overlapping mods within my this big community, I try to. And, like, you know, SPS is a queen who who's a big part of our community, all of the Hyrule Gaming Group team. So I actually really try to avoid overlapping mods if I can, because I don't ever want my mod to have to worry about where they're at. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want them to worry about like, oh, both of my ba favorite streamers are live. Like, who do I mod for? I don't ever want you to have that, like, that weird interaction. So I do try to avoid overlapping mods. What's up, Cabrilla? Welcome back. Good to see you. I named my island Yoshi's Island after the game and inspiration from you. Dope! Yoshi's Island, bring it in. You're awesome friend, I love hanging out. Yeah, of course, of course, Pepper. I love each and every one of y'all being here. I was worried with you in Borderham. It wasn't good for my mental health. Yeah, April. A again, you know, modding is just a whole different approach to Twitch. Some people just want to come and chill on Twitch, you know? They just want to relax. They come here for an escape from, like the normal trials of life and like sometimes the last thing you want is to deal with like trolls on the on the front lines like the mods are the front lines of twitch the mods like chat i barely even have to deal with an unban request i imagine how dirty and and nasty some of those unban requests are i just imagine that some of those some of those those unban requests are so nasty and my mods handle it all on the front lines and I haven't done it in months. So it's like, it's just like, you have to, it's such a front line. It's like, it's like the mods are in the trenches, sometimes taking hits that the, the streamer doesn't even see. And it's like, whoa, like it's, it's, it's weird stuff for sure. What's up, Ibiz? Welcome in, good to see you. Can we get a hearty welcome in the chat for Ibiz? Can we get a hearty welcome in here for Eddie's Pepperoni and, and Kiyoshi Kuma and anybody just rolling into the stream today? You guys rock? Oh, Princess Shrew. No, you rock. No, you rock. Cheers and thank you. Yo, Alt 075, how you been, by the way? I haven't had a chance to catch up with you. I'd love to hear how everyone's weekend's going and what kind of food you've been eating, what kind of gaming you've been getting into. I'd love to catch up with you guys and hear uh, about what you've been doing. If you guys just got to the stream, this is day six of our new island journey and resident services is being upgraded. We made it to resident services and tomorrow morning bright and early on stream we're going to be celebrating our resident services opening and and start the quest for kk slider and the three star island so our journey has come full circle one week one week seven days and we got our resident services very 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 proud to have done this with you guys it was such a cool experience this past week this past week was so much fun dude Welcome in, Darcy. Till I woke up. Oh, no. I hope you're okay, friend. Yeah, rip the music for sure. I'm going to be pretty sad about it. I'm, I, I, it's, it's a bittersweet thing. You've been hearing me say it all day. I'm sincerely sad that the music's going to go. The last day of spring bake, I got to put my big girl pants on and be a teacher. Oh, Froghead, I don't think I knew you were a teacher, Froghead. I salute all of my teachers. Thank you so much for everything you do. Whether you're teaching the super young, the super old, and everything in between, I, I hate to get too cheesy about it, but I'm serious. Thank you so much for for, for taking on that challenge. I, I think I would be a teacher if I would have took school serious enough, but here I am. <laughs> teaching in my own way, to be honest. My kid got accepted to her top pick in college. Hype worthy Kalapas in the chat. Congratulations, Alt 075. You gotta be a proud freaking mama, dude. That is awesome, dude. That makes me so happy. I wanna play ACNH, but I have no motivation. Well, any tips? No motivations on AC. Uh chat, help us out here. No motivation to play Animal Crossing. What do you do? What's your personal rituals? So the first answer is to restart your island, but that's very drastic. And you need to be careful, Ibis. Think about it. My second pro tip, besides for switching your island up, is to 
maybe like start a new project, right? Like start, find a new section of your island to work on and like start a new project on your island. Like give yourself like a fresh, like go watch some like some dream addresses and stuff and like maybe like flatten a portion of your island and like get some inspiration. Try to get yourself like a new project to work on. That usually will get me back. Also, um, events get me back. If you don't know, there's been a lot of updates and events. They've added a bunch of stuff to the game, Ibiz. And that those events, if you don't know about them, could maybe give you the inspiration to come on back. So there's some tips right there. The chat's got a bunch of stuff. Shout out to all the teachers. You know it, Cabrilla. Lag. There was like a very baby hiccup. Baby, baby hiccup. It might not have just been you. Definitely hit the refresh if you guys are having any issues. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, and Rosie Pooh brought up the best thing ever. Sometimes you have to just take a break in Animal Crossing. I Thank you for saying that, Rosie. The other pro tip for you, and this one kind of sucks because you own a game that you want to play, right? Right? But take a break. That's also a really, really, really good tip. Animal Crossing is meant to be taken in doses. And if you got to take a break, take a break. Take a break, come back later, and you might feel better about playing the game in a couple weeks. That's not a, the best answer sometimes. I feel like you want to play your new game, you're kind of upset that you're not in, in, inspired to play it, you know, but... <laughs> oh, get a date on the photo? Okay, 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 hold on. All right, we learned our lesson from yesterday. We'll do it, we'll do it. <laughs> what point should i start considering mods uh right away um I, I'll, I'll give you breezy's philosophy i think this is i think this will cover breezy breezy taught me a lot about inviting mods to your mod team v breezy's like or has a really strong philosophy and the way she builds her mod team i think that what you want to do is you want to look for mods that call your channel home that like really make a point to show face in your community and that maybe fit the time slots that you think you need some protection, some moderating as well as possible. So I think like it's an organic thing, you know, if there's someone that you can identify Casper Lynn in your heart, in your brain, that would fit that role, I'd give him one right now, even if I had one viewer. You don't wanna over mod early. Having a bunch of mod swords in your chat can be kind of ugly and off-putting to viewers. So at 10 viewers, I'd start with just one mod. And, and the, the process, you know, find that that viewer that really stands out as someone who really calls your your content and your and your platform home, because I feel like my when I started streaming, I just threw mod swords everywhere because I just was having fun. And that's why I reset my mod team recently, because I realized that two years in, I had like 30 mods and like a lot of them just got it as a literal VIP status. And I did it loosey goose and I did it super just like, here, take a sword, you take a sword. And I realized like I, I needed to stop doing that. And I really needed to listen to my friend Breezy. I, I if you don't know Breezy, I, I I look up to her as far as streaming goes. I feel like um there's a lot to learn from that community. And like that's one of the things I'm starting to really ingest, like really think about is like I shouldn't just be throwing the swords out willy-nilly. You know what I mean? Like I should really think about it and put some real thought into those swords. And that's my advice. I hope that answered your question. I almost fell into a rant there. <laughs> all right let me catch up on chat i missed a bunch of chat what's up monster a diva loss welcome in how you doing today um your highlighted message so i was kidding about yoshi's island it doesn't fit into the slot so i named it hyrule hey aceling more welcome in here by the way i know you've been here for a little bit today fudge monkey orc po welcome in good to see you today um lots of good advice in the chat welcome in hannah I just did some mental task like diving. Oh, you did some menial task like diving to get back into the game. There you go, Hannah. Faith Shadow, welcome in. My inner goth is screaming, I just found Cherry. Oh, Cherry's adorable. I've been playing this game called Cozy Grove. It's basically like Animal Crossing more than any other game that's ever been like Animal Crossing before. It's like Animal Crossing if all your villagers were dead and your island was somewhere in some in-between place and you had to help them get to the afterlife. So um, like Spiritfarer, 
So Spiritfarer has a similar vibe to where you're in the middle of the afterlife, right? And you're helping people pass to the afterlife. So Cozy Grove is just like a more Animal Crossing Spiritfarer, kind of. A more Animal Crossing-esque Spirit. Because Spiritfarer is nothing like Animal Crossing. It's just like you talk to animals and people are like, AC. But it sounds like Cozy Grove is like a little bit more closer to AC, maybe. Rant Descent, yeah. <laughs> Oprah Descent. <laughs> Am I a randomer? No, no, actually not at all, Pepper. Pepper, you are um you are fam here. Whether or not you get to, a chance to be here, Pepper, you're you're fam here. Like I don't you and random are fam here. And anytime you guys wanted anything, you could have it in a lot of ways. Like you got your sword originally because you are family. And the same thing goes to random, honestly. If you got if he wants it, he can have. It. You know what I mean? Like that's just that's just what it is. There's there's always going to be those exceptions to the rule, you know. <laughs> <laughs> There's just fam some people are fam, and that's just how it goes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You gotta go back to school tomorrow. Oof! I got an email for the Coral Island game. Yes, the Coral Island game. Are you gonna be playing it, Froghead? It looks pretty good. Ow! Ah! What is happening? Why is this happening to me? Ah! Oh god! What? Oh god! I I'm just gonna embrace it. <laughs> footsies <laughs> wait we can play sitting footsies now i never realized that we can play footsies without benches now what i never i never even thought of that we don't even need we don't even need benches to play we can play triple footsies Oh, that's Ubi's. Ubi's came and visited us. I forgot. Ubi's just flew in. <laughs> really cool cube designs people are making with the new Pro Ultimate. So I saw the cat in a house. That's it. Is it? Is there any? Is there any other ones, dude? I saw the cat in the house. Let me get. Let me check this out. Let's check this out together. There's loads of them. All right, let's check them out together, Chet. Oh, the game. Somebody told me about the GameCube. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Wow, that looks so good. Dude, it looks so good. Look at the GameCube. That's so classy. I'm going to I'm going to repost this. I'm going to re retweet this. I'm 100% retweeting this for sure. That, yo, thanks for sharing. So it's a new thing. Alt 075. You can get a new pro design editor that you buy it from Nook Shopping. You go to your Nook Redemption Miles and you can design in the pro the pro designs now you can do umbrellas flags and standees from new leaf like in new leaf you could get the little standees with a picture on them you could do those as well actually i think i have some pictures from the standees was that on my other account that was on my other account okay there's a fruit crate one wait check out the fruit crate what is that Sorry, Reddit's taking a second to load. Sometimes Reddit be like that. Oh, wow. Here's the fruit crate. It actually looks really good. It actually looks really good, dude. Just a, just a fruit crate. <laughs> super cool, super cool stuff. Dazza always dropping such, such cool stuff in our chat. Hope you're doing well today, Dazza, by the way. Had to share perfect for orchards. 100% agreed. Perfect for orchards. We got Panberry on the island with us. I think this is Panda Chan right here, maybe? And that's Ubi's. I think Lizzie J was going to pop. Oh, there's Lizzie right there. What's up, Lizzie? How are you? Ow. Anyone got a timer? I do at my... Oh, right here. Here you go. You can have that timer if you want to use it. I have another one at the house. You can take that one. You can even keep it. You can honestly even keep it if you want to use it today. Are we going to do a little bid? 
even before I come crash your island too? <laughs> Are we gonna do a little bit of a fishing thing or something? Is that what you wanna do? Yeah, I knew, I could tell, I had a feeling that was you, Panda. I like your hair, your anime hair. Oh, thanks for the reminder. We have to, we have to buy something from, we have to buy something from Abel today because this is the third day she's been here. Wait, hold on. Today I came to talk to Tom. Look, we got a conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left. Oh, wait, we just got it. My sister and I would feel better about opening the shop to help Tom look. Um, how about it? Can you be our location scout? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do a, a bug competition. I'm so glad we just we're gonna lay able sisters down today. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do a bug off. I'm down to do a bug off. I got a flimsy net, so it might break. Are you sure? I can get some more. Hold on, I can craft some more bug nets. You guys need more? Hold on, April. Give me your give me your um flimsy net. I'll upgrade it. Drop me drop me your flimsy net. I'll upgrade it real quick. I'll upgrade it to an iron one for you real quick. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll be right back. I just gotta go over to the house. I can craft gold ones. Oh, Panberry. I'm going to hold off on the gold one for now just because I like the new game feel. But thank you. Thank you. I actually, I got gifted some gold stuff. <laughs> just for like a week or two. I'm just trying to capture the essence of like the early game. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to like capture the essence of the early game. I know that I'm kind of cheesy about it, but it's just fun to like, it's just fun to like capture the essence of the early game and eventually get back to the golden tools and the good life and the luxurious life. Not cheesy, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That was the whole point of the reset, yeah. So I'm like, I'm just like limiting some of the stuff that I let myself do for like that reason. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize it for April real quick too. We're gonna cust we're gonna customize it for April too. We're gonna make April an exclusive net here. So let's make it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of what kind of color April is. I feel like April would be like a a pink, a purple, or a blue. Pink? You're a pink? I knew it. I was about to say. I, I was about to say. I, I, I figured you were a pink, a purple, or a blue. <laughs> Alright, let me customize mine real quick as well. Because it's about to break, I think. I got stuff for you. Thank you, Lizzie J. You can just drop it there or by my house. April's a huge dork. Of course, it's pink. Uh, you know, Boater, sometimes I think you get yourself mixed up with other people. Like, uh, you're the dork here. Uh, not April. Uh, just saying. True, we're all dorks. Okay, fair. All right, I can't argue with that. <laughs> but April cannot be outdorked. Yo, what is this? Ubi's, Ubi's with the, the cute sweater. You dropped me items. A juicy Apple T TV, a throwback rocket, and a bonsai shelf. How do you know me so well? How do you know me so well? I'm gonna leave that outside for now, but I'm gonna use it. Just don't take my stuffs, chat. Just ask first, chat. All right, there we go, we're all ready. April, you can go ahead and put a timer on whenever you want. I think I think somebody is using the bulletin board, but whenever they're done, you can you could probably start or whatever. I don't care. I'm down to vibe. Pick up the weeds. I'm enjoying my weeds. What do you mean, Spiky Taco? This is the good stuff. This is that high rule herb. Any any breath of the wilders out here? This is that high rule herb, baby, that flavors every dish in the world of Breath of the Wild. This is them high rule herbs, baby. You think I'm gonna get rid of them Hyrule herbs? No, no. Oh, we're ready. Let's go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this that Hyrule herb, baby. <laughs> what you mean? You want me to pick up my weeds? You just want me to pick them up so I can bring them to your island, huh? What's up, real pilot? How you doing today? 
the good stuff. <laughs> I'd like one ounce of Hyrule herb, please. Casper Lynn. We, we're only giving out trial trial packages right now. Hi, rule. Yo, what's up? Victoria Sarah, I don't know if I said hi to you today. How you doing? <laughs> All right, chat. Now we're getting out of control. You trying to get me FBI opened up in here? Open up. Why is it bugs just disappear when you have a bug off? I I'm not the only one that's noticed that. Thank you for no thank you Thank you for saying that, Rox. I'm not the only one that's noticed that. I swear the bugs just disappear when you when you have a bug off. Good vibes. What's up, Quay? <laughs> Quay, Quay, Quay. So I we do have some hybrid flowers by my house that might get you some bugs. Do you even have bugs on your island? Clearly I don't. <laughs> Clearly there's not a single bug on my island. I, I don't even know if I've seen one. <laughs> Holy heck, dude. Start shaking trees at this point. I have better luck finding a wasp than I do in a bag worm than I do finding bugs, I guess. A three-way tie. <laughs> There's like one person that's gotten a bug. Everyone else is just dry. The Hyrule herb keeps the bugs away. Panberry's just talking to Cat. Maybe Cat's got all the bugs. This is the most eventful bug off I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, if I if I release and re-catch this one, does it count? Dang it. You think you should try to fill out your museum? There you go, Ibiz. That's a good thing to get you back. So you could try to catch all the bugs and fish for this this season. Then try to get your hands on some extra art. You could even use like Nookazan. I'm a proud partner of Nookazan. And um, you could use Nookazan to maybe get yourself some of the some of that art that's hard to get your hands on. That's that's smart. That, that actually makes a lot of sense, Rocks. Where bug? Yeah, the bugs are gone. Did you just try to catch a fish with your net? <laughs> I swear I just saw April try to catch a fish with her net. You saw a bug? That I scared away? Man, some of the bugs during this time of year are small. Some of the bugs around this time of year are super, super small. Like the ladybug is hard to see and so is the bees, the honeybee. Top level on a flower. Okay, we got a bug. We got a bug. Come here, bug. Dang it. I can't catch this thing. Oh, I can't do it. She took my bug. She took my bug. Oh, the April disrespect. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable, dude. The disrespect right in front of me, dude. It was my bug. It was the only bug I'd seen the whole time. It was my freaking bug. Uh, team April. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Unbelievable. Right from under my schnoz. Right from under my schnoz, dude. Just yoked it up. I'm just gonna pop a squat here. This is the loser's seat. Yeah, we should have checked for wharf roaches. That's actually a good call. <laughs> I couldn't even catch one! April, take the place of this stinky streamer that leaves nasty oranges. <laughs> what does that even mean? So who won? It was a, t a two-way tie. 
Um, Ubi's and April got three each. Hanberry got one. Me and Lizzie couldn't find any. Frick. Lizzie says frick. <laughs> frick. Frick. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Frick. What frog is that? Frobert. Frobert. Oh, wrong character. I just outwardly laughed at stealing your bug, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> on my screen, the bug wasn't even near you, which was even funnier. Like, on my screen, the bug flew, like, this way, and you caught it, like, over here. It was, like, really weird how it ended up happening. It was, like, really, really weird. Oh, well, I guess I should be a fair sport and clap. Oh, I love your bug. Your bug looks so awesome. Thanks for showing it to me. I'm glad you're able to find bugs. <laughs> bug delay, yeah. Probert ate all the bugs. <laughs> you could say it was bug inception. Should have shook trees. I feel like I shook most of the trees today. Hey, Hylian, what's up? What do you need? <laughs> Wait, what's this item? My HHA pendant? Yeah, it's a savage. Savage. Apple in my campsite today. What's up, blue-eyed ladybug? I want to invite her to stay, but she keeps trying to take the newest villager spot. Will the campsite villager always try to replace the last villager? No, 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 it's random. Blue-eyed ladybug, it's completely random. So you could just keep trying, but you have to, like... You have to reset your game, I think, for that strategy. I think you have to reset your game and, like, make sure it doesn't save as the... I think like once it chooses the person and the game saves, they will keep saying that person. So it's like your duty to like reset the game before that it auto saves that they chose a person and you have to keep loading your game over and over again and make them change the person that they're suggesting. So it's kind of a process. And yeah, if it already saved you, if it keeps saying the same person over and over, you might have already messed up. So what you want to do is just try just try again, maybe. Like, just try a couple more times. And if it doesn't work out, then you might have you might have already soft-locked yourself. I think that's how it works. It's been a little while since I've done a campsite villager. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. It's cool, because we get, we get wave so early. I love wave. And we get wave, like, super early in the game now. Love ya. <laughs> I don't have the heart emote or I heart emote. Dude, you gotta love a lazy Saturday with the HGG fam. Panberry. Oh, shoot. Get away from me. Uh, no, I don't want to take it. No. You think you're clever or something? Yo, you better stop. Go! Oh, I didn't get a chance to bring my net out. All right, that's it. You're going to get it. Dang it, I missed. Oh, got her. Oh, it's Net Wars. Oh, shoot. Go, go. I'm getting double teamed. This is like Smash Brothers Melee all over again. Actually, it's Monday. Wait, what did I say? I thought I said Sunday. Did I say Lazy Saturday? I meant Sunday. You guys knew what I meant. It doesn't matter what day it is. If I put Lazy in front of it, it's Sunday. Like, let me try. You guys ready for Lazy Sunday? See how that worked? I put Lazy in front of Sunday, so therefore it made it Lazy Sunday. So even if I put Lazy in front of a different day, 60% of the time, it works all the time. You guys get what I'm saying? No... Uh, never mind. Never mind. 
Are you trying to find your net worth? <laughs> Hylian is Bob confirmed. All right, I'm kicking you guys out of here. I'm kicking you guys out of here. <laughs> I'm kicking you guys out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> my brain's leaking out of my ears. Me too. Nice to meet you. No, I just misspoke. I, I, I said Sunday. I said Saturday, I guess. Morning brain, morning Brenda. Oh, you hit me with the morning Brenda. It's not that bad, dude. Come on. You know, late nights in the wastelands. Sometimes you get morning Brenda the next day. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, thanks for coming over. It's not that bad, but it's still funny. How is it you keep missing? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm terrible. <laughs> no, I kicked you guys out because we're wrapping up. Um, we're going to go drop off the Able Sisters, and then we're going to wrap up, I think. So let's go find out where we're putting Able Sisters at real quick. Fine, then I'm going to bed. No, Peppo, leave. No, Ubies, come back. Oobs, come back. All right, let's go find where we're putting the Able Sisters at. Whoa. Before I forget, the reason I fight you is I want to give you a gift. All right, so this is where they give you gifts for like for stuff that goes outside of your your island. Nope, she gave me a throwback gothic mirror. I guess I needed a mirror still. Look at my gifts. Yeah, we'll, we'll check them out. We'll check them out tomorrow probably. I'm just gonna vibe right now and put down Able Sisters. I just got to decide. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit Able Sisters in most of these places. Okay, it's actually pretty small. Okay. So we can fit Able Sisters to the left of the museum, possibly. I didn't want to fill this area up with too much stuff, but we're going for it. Wait, Chester. No, oh, Chester. No. No, Chester just got a house put on him. Maybe she gave you the mirror because she thought you were ugly and she wanted you to see your ugly self all the time. I don't know if Celia's that mean. <laughs> All right, cool. 